Well, I'm gonna part, uh... 12? 13, 12, 11, 12, I think it's 12. What does it matter anymore? I'm still here. We're still doing league races. Uh, we have started, I think we're done all of these, so it's time for the championships. And what better place to start than El Pinko Vitzo, baby? It's time. He's coming back. Let me guess what we unlock from this, by the way. Is it a, is it a green Toyota Echo, perchance? Four string pillow. Ab absolutely. I have like nice pillows that I have for like guests when they sleep. I have pillows in my bed. I have pillows that I bring on trips with me, like camping. And then there's these guys. Like I, I they were old when I moved out of my mom's 10 years ago or like 10 or so years ago. I don't want to think about how many years it's actually been. I want to make it slightly less vitsy. Long, long Hello, Luigi. Good evening, Luigi. Can I increase horsepower? I. He's doubtable. I'm going to put on the, the muffler and air cleaner and then hope that's good enough. I think... I think they won't use... Uh, sport tires. So they, they'll, they'll use, they will use sport tires. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. It's fine. Anyway, here we go. Everything's a championship now for the rest of the game. Also, I don't know who was telling me that the arcade time trials were hard. I don't know if you guys watched or were here for the last part of the last playthrough. They're not hard. <laughs> I got one my second try, and then I got the other one like within four or five tries. And it was a rally one, which I figured would be much harder. No. So I don't know who gaslit me to think it all, unless I just picked the two easy ones. That was a bowl of coffee. Pal times. Tang, when's the last time you've been punched in the face? <laughs> time that perfect. I can't see. All right. Come back here, my multicolored friends. Is it 10 laps? Yeah, okay, so it's... It's gonna take a while, but it's... About as long as I thought it was gonna take. He's pulling his cock out! I, I hate cockpit view in this game. Not because I like... I don't know, I hate cockpit view in games where I'm playing them on the controller. Chat, we may have to fully upgrade our vits. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I just drive like a a banana. Oh my god! It's like driving a house. Somebody, somebody at Polyphony was like, it takes up three quarters of the screen. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. There's some guy like a melon. One way to find out. All right, seven seconds.
If we do not gain time on the leaders in this lap, we need to go back to the garage. I, I think I want to put a transmission in the car anyway. Oh yeah, they. I thought I could get away without having to fully mod it. We're gonna have to fully mod it, unfortunately. Holy shit! This is also what I was afraid of. Thank you, Q, for the resub. Thought I heard somebody resub while I was getting ready too, and if I, it's, it, it's not on my feed. So if you resub, thank you. If not, then well, thank you. All right, we are full light. I cannot make it go any faster. Ain't got no gas in it. Somebody make me sure I double check that that's put on. Full customized service. Um, I'm polish my parts. Yeah. I, I don't want to add any more horsepower, but I, I probably should, but I don't want to. Ah. Well, stock suspension probably wasn't helping my situation at all. All right, we now have the Vitz Touring Special. Uh, and while we're here, Dummy. Yeah. yeah. And while we're here, I'm gonna pick a. I'm gonna buy the slightly harder tire, just to have it. A slightly softer tire, because if we could, if there, if we're, if, if we're all gonna one stop anyway, I might as well like use the whole tire and pit five laps in. Q, I swear to God there was a Vitz Cup car in this game, but I guess not. Again, I have a, a sneaking suspicion of what we're going to unlock here. Uh, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to give him one of these. I'm give him one of those. I hope this should be good enough. Price card for this series of hits. Who's to say? Who's to say I think I found the source of all the reason why people were mad that they were getting pink bitses? I've only, I have only. Oh my! Holy shit! Oh my. <laughs> Thanks for the 79 bunch, Badger. I'm driving the funny car. I'm I'm in the Rion Bertone. Um. Right. Uh, what was it again that I thought I didn't? Well, whatever it was, I put it on because it was in this area. We're good. It's fine. Everything's fine. We have added lightness, lowered the vehicle. Got better brakes. Oh, I could have put cool, cool boots on it, I forgot. Also, I want to meet the sick fuck that was like, you know where these bad boys need to race? You know where this collection of colorful, colorful gentlemen needs to go? Test course. Fuck you. We have hit 200 once again. Thank you, Badger. And it's gonna—it goes to somebody who, like, is here. For the gifts of the emeralds. Hope you're both having had a great weekend. Emerald, make sure you give Badger a big thank you if you haven't already. <laughs> Release the. Finally. 
Honestly, complex string would it was would have been better than test force. I know what I'm doing. Well, I guess there was racing today. Shout out to the Red Bull realizing they weren't going to win today and go, and the engine just went, I'm ahead out and caught fire. Excellent. Should I go three wide for, for number one? No. He's still going. He's still going. Badger with another gift sub. To, to a whole engine. 13B REW. Make sure you give Badger a big thank you. Badger. I tell you relax, but I know how this conversation goes whenever I tell you to stop doing something. So all I will say is thank you. But like, thank you like colon three. The pink is in the lead. The pink was in the lead. Badger, I barely know her. Some people pay good money for that. I wish you could change two tires. That'd be hype. That's great. <laughs> you heretic. Yeah, yeah, car's picking up what I'm putting down. What in the pink or something? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the Ryan Burton Championship. For 50,000 points, I will dab. Oh my god. What is he doing? Badger's just in here flailing his arms around. He just happens to have dollar bills taped to all of his fingers. Once again. I've been badgered. I barely know her! <laughs> Sorry for not streaming yesterday, gang. He's pulling his cock out. I, I was going to do the uh, the rush speed run today, but I figured I should do that on a Friday or a Saturday. So it will be probably next week after Porsche, probably next Saturday. Uh, I didn't have that, that good of an excuse not to... Hey, what's up, guys? I didn't have that good of an excuse not to stream yesterday, but I felt like a bag of shit. And I was like, I don't want to do the rush thing and like not be into it. My arms hurt, my legs hurt, everything hurts. Everything hurts still today, to be fair. Don't get old, it sucks. Um, uh, thank you! Badger! I have also have news of a slightly unfortunate nature. I am uh, I am not doing the EA Creator Series tomorrow in WRC. I'm glad I didn't practice that much. I guess there's a rotating, like, they have people rotate in and out, and then they have their main characters. That is what it is. We had a whole storyline on the last one. We made, we made an impact. We made some new friends. Uh, there's a gentleman by the name of B-Roy that it turns out I absolutely fucking clobbered in the middle of the next level racing event, so I got to apologize to him to his face, finally. 
Skelly, you know the last stage where I barrel rolled? I was second on that stage. I, if I wouldn't have rolled, I would have won the power stage. I was five seconds off the top time. The cock incident. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think shucks is the right word. I might, uh, I might, I might DM somebody about it. So I saw there was signups too. I mean, we could run it anyway. There's nothing stopping us from doing it anyway. It's an open club, right? So. That is true. That is true. We almost gawked EA Sports. It was really close. Carl, I had already forgot that happened. I, uh, I had Twitter open on my main monitor and to show them what my game was doing, I had to stream my entire monitor to them. And I thought it was still open and I was just scrolling Twitter and I saw a wiener and went, oh no, and panicked. And then realized I had like just, just closed the feed like two minutes before. You hubris. Oh, it will happen again. I'm surprised it hasn't happened before. Especially during the whole streamathon. Stunned that that did not happen. Enter. Holy shit. Man. You don't gotta do that, dude. Especially to car. Oh, God. Gross. Girls. Yucky. Got a bar Caro on all. That's the first inappropriate thing I've ever seen Kara post on Twitter.com. I'm not saying she hasn't posted anything inappropriate on Twitter.com. That's the first thing I've seen. She usually posts like some smooching stuff and then like wholesome lesbian things. Again, it may have happened. I just may have not seen it. Badger! Holy shit! If you do not have a subscription, one will be supplied to you. That's such a fucked up number, dude. 321. I thought you weren't subscribed yourself for a second. I was about to be like, what? No, no, no. I'm just all fucked up. My two sips of coffee. My brain's not on yet. I'm going to stop here for the night. Dude, you do what you want, man. I, I I feel like I say this every time, and hopefully it doesn't sound robotic, but, like, I know what you do is not just here. And that you do the, the motions to everything and other streams, too. Thank you for what you do for this community. I know it might seem like nothing to you, but like it is a big deal for a lot of us. To either continue doing what we love to do, put us one step closer. I remember I remember back in the theater days, dude, I was able to take like shifts off and stuff because of you, so. Weed number. So thank you, man. Thank you for everything. Not even, not even the gift subs, dude. Just like being here. Like it's, there's a lot of people from when you started watching that have moved on to other things. So I'm stoked to see your name every time you pop back in. It makes my penis do a big penis. Big baby. That's a fucking throwback. 
the, the rare couple years where I was really trying to convince the world I had a big dick. That's a lot. And we still believe it. Because it's true. Why would I lie to you? Gloved. <laughs> Had to read that twice. I have both good news and bad news, by the way. Oh my god. Holy shit. You never told me it was a P2. You said it was a podium. Hold on a minute. Hold on a damn second. Wait, hold on. Yes! I am so glad I didn't end up doing it, Blair, because it would have been like a fucked up busy weekend, but... I DJ'd on Friday, and then I wasn't in bed till like 8 o'clock in the morning. And I really hope that... Thank you for the reset, by the way, and congrats. I really hope that um, the VOD for that set comes out. Like, I've already posted the the music. Exclamation mark DJ, I think? It's on my archive.org. I, I literally, it was the reason stream was late today, because they want to do, like, a big post where um, they have everybody's... Um, sets posted so you can listen to any set that you missed so they're like can you get this up by tomorrow i'm like i'll do it today because i'll forget p2 out right what did the all the l I, did you do lmp2 did all the gtps just fucking die that's hilarious that's really funny that's really funny <laughs> that's really funny I know I, every split that I watched, Blair, it seemed like it rained at least a little bit, so I figured. But yeah, uh, the set that I did on Friday, which is posted now, if you want to listen to it, it's one of my favorite that I've ever done. Uh, if you like house music. Um, I had two VJs, two like video, like they're making visuals live. One, one was dancing and then feeding her feed to the other VJ who was like doing colors and shit. I had, whenever I had like time, I would look back and just watch. It was incredible. Like I, I, I have the video, but she told me not to post it around. Also it's 19 fucking gigs. <laughs> so hey, I don't know when that will get posted, but I want to share that because it was the whole video is so cool. Maybe one day after stream, I'll just, like, play the video. She's like, I'm, someone will post it on YouTube. I'm like, I've I, I played a lot of copyrighted music in that. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it was so fucking cool, man. You balled so well. Dude, welcome to endurance racing. Like, it's literally, literally the amount of shit that we've done, Blair, with Team Rick, where we're, like, 11th. And we're like, oh, we're never going to get a top 10. We have no hope. And there's, like, 45 minutes left. And everybody wrecks, and we finish, like, top five. Like... Bro, punch up. Fuck him! Fuck him! That was for position, maybe. Yeah, I'm actually very happy I did not do Sebring. Not because I didn't want to, because it would have been, like, a ridiculous weekend. Also, I didn't want to. We did Sebring last year. Me, Zach, and Corey Revink from iRacing. And I practiced and practiced and practiced in the GTP and then literally destroyed the car, I think, three times in my first two stints. Like, totally meatballed it, had to tow, wrecked it again the lap, like, cold tires the next couple laps. Like, I was a menace. So I, I probably could have been a little bit more confident in the LMP2, but I was like, eh, I'm not ready for Sebring yet. Not 
up in it. That's part of the fun though, right? I was, how was the, the dynamic rain? I watched a little bit of Rudy and Daniel's race, and then Daniel was just like pissed at everything. I went, ah, that's not energy that I want right now. That that the dynamic in that voice call was very funny. Daniel was fucking pissed, and anytime he did anything, people like just clowned on him, so he was getting even more pissed, which is valid, I think. Um Rudy was just kinda like existing in uh, Jeffrey Elgato con la pipa was just trying to calm everybody down and keep everybody calm. It was like the weirdest group of three brothers. I can't, man, I can't do Renz's stream visually. I, if he likes it, that I, it's so weird. The reshade is trying to make, tries to make it look more realistic, but it just looks blue, like violently blue. Yeah, I watched the end of jimmy and steve's i was like oh i didn't know jimmy and steve were racing together hopefully they're doing okay and i opened it and they were leading by three fucking laps it's like ah, i see chat i didn't mean to make the car this op but it appears we made the car this op the fig team now i mean that's fair half of them are full of bastards now anyway matt's a cheater chris is a complicit and Trano's our deadbeat dad that comes home and gives us the best Christmas present and then leaves again. It's not Jimmy and Steve. <laughs> Nick, holy shit. That's the wrong button, but that's the one. <laughs> okay, that's what it is, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Now, Rudy was like going to Sacramento for something, I think. Yeah, it is funny. Right? True, 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 true. Yeah, I did a lot of LMP2 during the uh, week 13, and in the, in the rain, it was like the right amount of scary. Um, Can we make the, the turbo worse? Rudy does have a Miata. No, God, no. I don't want to take a 100 horsepower out. That's a little... All right, let's try that. Basic took 50 horsepower out. Walter. Dude, I want to watch better. I keep getting better cost all shorts in my YouTube feed, and I want to watch it so bad. I watched, like, the first season, and then went, I'm going to follow this show. No. <laughs> no. I got into an anime again on Friday, too. I'm a weeb again. I hate to admit it. Sorry to disappoint you, everybody. Which anime? So I was at a show, and one of my friends was telling me about this anime they were watching that's like... Stereotypical, like, feudal Japan, but it's like a slice of life anime mixed in. Uh, it's basically like, you know how every anime story is like, the heroes save the world. This is like what happens after. Uh, it's, I think, Freerin is how you pronounce it? 
we watched two episodes. I was like, this is good. Like, I like this. And uh, I might watch it this evening. I've only seen the first two episodes, so don't, don't spoil it. Yeah, 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 yeah. F-R-I-E-R-E-N. Yeah, it's, I like, I really like the, uh, the concept of, um, oh, I, that, you know, that one's on me, eh? Yeah, I really, I really like the concept of the show, and it's apparently not that long either, so I can probably watch it in like a day or two. I don't want to spoil anything from the first two episodes, but like, I don't know. It's it's cool the way uh, they had it set. I'm not much into like uh, shonen, I guess you'd call it. Like, I must save the, my family. S swords. Like, if it's a means to an end, that's fine, but, like, shows that have, like, three episode long fight scenes just don't do anything for me. 28, yeah, and they're, like, half an hour each, so that's, that's fine. Chad, I think I made a crucial mistake. I didn't think 40 horsepower would be the difference in me absolutely fucking demolishing the entire field, but... It appears that 40 horsepower was absolutely... I'll take swords, Trebek. That's not what your mother said last night. To anybody watching who's like, why would you take power out of it? You know if you lose any of these races, you gotta go back and redo them. Why would you not just make the bits as OP as possible? You know how many fucking, how long this is gonna take? If I just like walk away from the field, I'm gonna be so fucking bored. Like, I have to at least try and make it reasonably close. That's about as long as I spent with your mother last night, Trevor. Fun fact, Alex Trebek, born in my hometown. Went to Laurentian University, where I went for two weeks and then realized I hated university and just drank beer and hung out in my friend's dorm room. McDonald was Canadian too, was he not? Yeah, I went to university. I went to college, so I got like a college diploma degree, whatever you want to call it. But I went to university. My mom would not let me go out of, out of town for school because she said it was too expensive. And I was like, I'll just get loans. It's fine. She's like, no, you're not. I'm like, okay. Um... So I had to go to the local school that didn't have the program that I wanted, which was, like, journalism. And I took communication studies because that was the closest thing that we had. And I did, what I didn't know about at least Canadian university is, like, you take four courses that have something to do with your major, and then you just fill up your schedule with other random bullshit. So I was taking, like, anthropology, political studies. Like, I, don't, I didn't fucking care, man. A W on her part? Not really. Not really, Q, because I ended up going to school out of town anyway. And it was the best decision I've ever made. I got out of my little small town and became a better person because of it. Um, but yeah, I, like, I wouldn't, I didn't hate like my mandatory courses, but all my like compulsory, uh, not compulsory, this is the other one. Um, 
but it's fucked. Like you are right though, because I think if I would have went to the school I wanted to, which was York University for Creative Writing in Toronto, it would have been like. I think I owed like fifteen thousand when I was done, because I didn't I didn't need to pay for uh, what's up, Beardo? I didn't need to pay for uh, uh, dorm, so I got I stayed in an apartment off campus. But if I went to York, I would have absolutely been staying in a dorm. So I would have owed for that and owed for, like, food and everything. And so I think it probably would have been, like, 50 or 60,000, if not more. So I know that doesn't sound crazy to you Americans, but, like, that's a, a lot bigger than the number that I do actually owe. And I don't think I owe that much on my student loan anymore, which is cool. Um, I got to look into that, but I literally can't log into my account. Anyway... Yeah, my electives were, like, terrible. I took anthropology with some girl I had a crush on, so that was fun. Realized that I wasn't into her as much as I thought it was, but then I got a cool friend out of it. So I literally just went and hung out. Pretty on par. That's fifty or $60,000 for four years, not one, though. No. And York is, like... A big school for us, I think. I don't think it's in downtown Toronto, but, like, it's there. I'm still bummed because I would have loved to see see how my life would have panned out if I moved to Toronto early on in my life, but... I don't think I would have done shit with my creative writing degree, so... Um... Yeah, so I just stopped going to school. My mom would go to work, like about a half an hour before I'd have to catch the city bus to go to school because uh, parking was like 300 bucks a year and it was like 15 or 20 dollars a day so I'd miss the bus and go well guess I'm not going to school and then just go to bed I also worked overnights or afternoons at the same time so I worked at a, um, a janitorial supply company which ironically my mom worked in the front office she's the one who oh my god big dive she's the one who got me the job so she's like, how was school? And I had to look this poor woman dead in the eye and go, good? <laughs> Knowing full well, I just slept in and watched cartoons all day. I think out of the, like, eight courses I had in my first year, I passed two. And then the other ones I just never went to. I passed my psychology class because me and my friend Kurt used to go together. Uh, I took an English course that I thought was, like, expanding on what we learned in high school, but I think it was, like, for people who didn't do very well in English in high school, because it was all book reports and shit. So I dropped out of that. Uh, I took poli-sci, and it was really boring. And I like, like, I like politics. Like, I get invested in politics. Like, maybe not so much now, but at the time, I was into it. Like, in journalism, we basically had a whole course that was what's going on in the world today, where we'd all just debate and argue. Or not argue, but debate on what's going on with politics and stuff in that particular day. Are you pitting? You are. Perfect. You just partying. Yeah, I did one year, and then I got a letter. What's up, Mystic? I got a letter from my, uh, the student loan people saying, Hey, you fucked up so bad, we're cutting off your loans. My mom was like, what's this about? And then I told her, I told you I never wanted to go to the school. And she's like, well, why didn't you say anything? I'm like, remember that one time where I applied to three universities and got into all three of them, and you said, no, you're going to go to the one that you didn't apply to? I don't know what to tell you. Like, And then we started looking at colleges and realized college was a lot more um, focused on what you actually want to do. Um, and I went to college here for two years, took journalism, got my, uh, my fancy piece of paper that says I'm an accredited journalist, I guess. I wrote for a weekly newspaper, a daily newspaper for six weeks, and I've done a couple little things for online publications and magazines since, but, uh... Decided I wanted to try doing this, and here we are. Through a series of mistakes and... It's 
Kelly, that's like the only reason when people come in here and like, this is this happened. And you're like, what? Like, yeah, I read it on Twitter and I get really upset. Like, you motherfuck. I tried at high stakes. What'd you think? You're not going to hurt my feelings, but what'd you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I try to tell that to everybody, like... I, yeah, welcome to Need for Speed of that era. I try to tell that to a lot of people. Like, there was people in my journalism class in their 40s and 50s that, like... had went to school and dropped out, then went to school and dropped out. What's up, Steve? I am in the unit. We just got the overcut. We have to maintain the lead. I took 40 horsepower out of the car to try to make the race closer. Just sandbox game on the PS1. Good luck. Ordering my wheel on Tuesday. You going Logitech? I saw you posted in Discord before, like... I do think the best option, unless you get like a wicked deal, is to get used equipment because it doesn't really depreciate much. Um, but the the drawback is like you no know, warranty. Obviously, you had to trust like whoever used your wheel before you that they didn't like just abuse it. Cops are hard on high stakes. It's a fun game, dude. If, if, like, you're cool with a career path that's pretty linear, which you're going to have to be if you're playing PS1 games. But, yeah, usually Logitechs go on, like, big sales new as well. Like, they're the only wheel company that I see in stores that usually get deep discounts. Obviously, I'm biased. This would be a perfect time for a Thrustmaster logo to pop up over my head. Um, but I think we said this before, Steve. Like, if you've never owned a wheel, you're not going to really notice the difference between a belt-driven and a gear-driven wheel. It, it doesn't Boobies. matter. Whatever you get that's like... Boobies. Oh, it's Boobies. 8 o'clock. Okay. Boobies. What is going on? Boobies. Boobies. Uh, I mean, next level racing's got you covered, Boobies. depending on your budget. Boobies. You can get like a like Boobies. a. We'll wait till chat's done what they're doing here. Boobies. 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 I hate this fucking. I hate you people. All right, we're back. Uh, next level racing has like mild to wild rigs where they have like wheel stands. They've got like semi rigs that are kind of like what I have, but just way smaller. They just won't handle like, you know, direct drive wheels or like super strong wheels. Uh, and then stuff that I have too, so. I do think that if you are a US based customer, um, my link for a five or 10% off still works. Yeah, that, yeah, that one. So if you're buying direct from NLR, NLR. There is uh, I, there is places that sell NLR in the store now, though. Especially with big purchases. I, I don't like ordering online. I like to go in the store. All right, chat. I, ta I changed my mind. No, Thrustmaster, Thrustmaster don't have a code for them. At the time I got partnered with Thrustmaster, they didn't have an online store in the in the in the U.S. or Canada in North America. Now they do, but it's the redeemed boob. No, it's illegal. You'll go to jail. So it turns out taking the power out actually did make the race very close. I won it on an overcut. I did not make. I did not pass the the lead car. 
on track. For test course, I'll put all the power back in, but. I made it entertaining again. Two out of five done. I have not tried Le Mans 24 hours on the PS1. I, he I have one for the PS2. I don't think it's the same thing at all. Um, and then there's one for the Dreamcast that people say is really good. T248 doesn't look bad. That's yeah, that's bit that's their entry level wheel. The the only the only thing that I could sell you on that, Steve, that I think would be better than the Logitech is the pedals, I believe, are T3PAs or T3PMs, whatever. Those are the same pedals that I have. Exact same. Um and uh having used Logitech pedals, your like your reach is like this much. Right? So if you're using cars with like no ABS, it's like really, really tough. Having a pedal with a lot more throw, I felt was better. So pedals alone, I think it's worth, it's a little bit extra money. It's like a little bit more worth it. The only thing I don't like about the T248 is it looks like a video game wheel. Like it doesn't look real. It doesn't look like a piece of like solid hardware. You know what I mean? Not that it isn't, but like, I just don't like the visual, the visuals of it, but that's, that's such a me problem. Um, and the interior of the wheel Chevrolet movie theater. The interior of the wheel, yeah. Um, a Logitech is gears, so like that's how they do force feedback, is just gears going against each other. That's funny, if you've watched or watch anybody stream who uses a Logitech wheel, you'll hear like, that's their wheel, like motors grinding. Um, I believe a T248 is a hybrid system, so it's not a belt-driven wheel, it's not a direct drive wheel, but it's still like a better base um, you'll enjoy whatever you get, but that's just, like, my two cents on it. Again, if you can get a Logitech for a good deal, it does not matter. Just get what's cheap. Time to hydrate. I've still got, I got my bowl of coffee. Driving for GT is just ancient. That's all. Just old. A modern Logitech wheel is more or less a driving force wheel on the inside. Same thing. Yeah, reliable. Dude, I still have my G27. I have it in a box in the other room. If this has been making some weird noises lately. Um it does this thing where if I'm like drifting or doing a rally, the wheel rim starts to like back itself off. So I have to take a what I do what I'm doing right now, I have to take a an Allen wrench and tighten the face bolts on the rim just to make sure it stays tight, especially if I'm like I'm gonna do something important. And then there's another bolt or screw down here that I need to tighten every once in a while. And uh, every time I boot this up now, the fan makes a weird noise and still works, still works great. It's just like, I feel like something's about to go wrong. Yeah, two reasons that Driving Force GTs are still expensive. One, the initial hit of purchasing sim racing gear is your biggest depreciation. Um, like, that is the biggest... The biggest... <clears throat> um, so if you buy something used, you could probably sell it for about what you paid for it. Two... 
G27s and Driving Force GTs are PS2 compatible, so people think they're rare and worth a lot more than they actually are. Which is stupid, but... I'm sitting here like, I need to focus on the race. I gotta finish this, what I'm saying. Do I, though? Yeah, G27 is PS2 compatible. I played Gran Turismo 4 in my G27. It it says it's a driving force GT in game, but everything still works. Goodbye. And now we wait. Uh, the pedals are that they come with it. I just I meant like um, with Rustmaster, the pedals that come with that wheel, if they're T three PMs. Or T3PAs, those are the same ones that I have, and I came from a Logitech, and they were like the biggest upgrade. Like the wheel is nice too, don't get me wrong, but the pedals were a huge difference. If you got your heart set on something, Steve, don't let me don't let me convince like convince you otherwise. You're gonna be happy with whatever you purchase. It's not like Logitechs are awful. You know what I mean? Like, they're tried and true. They're tested. Uh, there's a reason they haven't really changed a lot of their framework on the back end because it just works. Um, another cool part about Logitechs, too, is that, like, compatibility-wise, they work properly for everything. Like, you plug a Logitech into your computer, install a driver, and you're good to go. You know, you're not, like... It's not going to work for some games and not other games. Like, it's... it's in terms of compatibility... It's, you've got the confidence it's just going to work. Especially with the console, too. Like, it just works. Uh, you can, If you bounce off Red Limiter in this game, call me, you drop, like, five miles an hour. You want to get as close to Red Limiter as possible without hitting it. Yeah, and like I said, too, like, the, 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 the differences between Thrustmaster's entry-level stuff and Logitech's you're not going to notice if you've never owned a wheel before. And if you have a base, uh, like a base model wheel and you want to upgrade down the line, I wouldn't recommend going from like a Logitech to a Thrustmaster entry level because that's just slightly better than what you already had. You'd want to gonna go with a TX or a T300 or like something that in the mid range. Um, or like a Moza direct drive or something, you know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal. A lot, a lot of people put a lot of stock into like, oh, what wheel do I need? What pedals? What whatever? Whatever gets you in what it, your favorite sim, a favorite game, the fastest. To Momo steering wheels, I think they st like 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 in a sim sense or like in real life. I am indeed edging the rev limiter. I could have went my whole life without thinking about it like that. But. I don't, did Momo even make its own equipment, or did they just make rims? Because you can technically still get a Momo rim. But you're right. Yeah, I don't know. I obviously I want you to b purchase from the partners that support the channel. That would be cool, but um, especially next level racing. But at the same time, if you've never owned any sim equipment before, the best piece of sim equipment is the one that you can get in your hands for the least amount of money, the fastest.
Yeah, Weasel, I, I think they made uh, sim racing stuff for a while, like in the 2000s. That's what we're talking about. I still want a nice, like, 330 rim for my, my wheel. C128. Uh, I'm going to Google it and see if it's the, the rim, I'm, uh, the wheel I'm thinking of. Because the, the real base is, like, kind of ugly. Like, I don't like it that much. But the pedals alone are, like, worth it. Especially if you're buying from new, the price isn't that different. I think this is the one I'm thinking of. And it's compatible. It's console compatible now. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's the one that came out last year. Yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's the, it's the replacement for the T-150, I think. What's the T-248 then? What am I fucking talking about? It's fine. Oh, no, it was the T248 that I was talking about that had the good pedals. It has, like, a heads-up display that it's kind of gross. It's way more expensive. It's for 430 Canadian versus 300. Yeah, like the only reason I'd tell you to get a, 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 a TM over a Logitech at that price range is the pedals, but the pedals aren't a factor. You're probably getting the same wheel regardless of either or, so whatever's cheaper. Hello, Wembley. Good evening. Welcome to the most riveting gameplay on Twitch.tv. Again, I don't know what sick fuck thought of this. Break is so stiff. It's... <laughs> yeah, most wheels will, like... It, 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 like, it depends what console you want to play it on. Because they all do PC. And even then, like, this is a, a TX. This is an Xbox wheel. I got a drive hub for like a hundred bucks and I can use it on PS4 now. Not due to the stock bits. Fucking slickle my peeny. You subscribe for the whole seat, but you only need the edge. Welcome to the bits of the, to 10 laps of test course. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Be there. Kid stickers are just 10 bucks. They all, they all should come with paddles. If you want to get a shifter down the line, Thrustmaster makes like a giga expensive one, but Logitech has some that are pretty cheap that you can get a USB adapter for, and they're basically standalone. Like, I still use my G27 shifter because there's buttons on it, but the new ones are basically the same thing without the buttons. So for whatever reason you wanted an H pattern, it's not hard. It's money, but it's not hard. I don't think anything comes with an H pattern anymore. Yep, that's exactly what I use, Blair. I didn't. I was gonna get a nice like Thrustmaster shifter, and they're gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, but I like the fact that I could use my shifter as a button box. Like I've got my chat, my iRacing chat buttons on there. I've got my uh, my 
uh, brake bias adjustments, uh, my pit speed limiter. That's kind of how many. I always wondered, like, like I, I wanted to take a picture with somebody at MAGFest uh, because I thought it was funny, but uh, uh, they were in, like, a Femboy Hooters cosplay. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to, like, interrupt them. And they're like, they st I stopped them. Like, they're literally, like, they told me, like, this is why I wear this. It's for the attention, so thank you. I'd be like, no, don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Oh. Yeah, the, the Thrustmaster one is very cool, but very expensive. Like, hilariously expensive. I, uh, I can't stand the uh, marketing ploy of let's send expensive thing to streamers so people watching think they also need the expensive thing. Oh, hi. Apparently, I knew this dude. We have mutual friends, and I've asked my mutual friends, hey, do you know this person? They're like, no. <laughs> I'm like, are you a VR user? They're like, yeah, like, I go to the blah, blah, blah. I've been to this event. I've been to this event. I'm like, what was your VR name? And they told me, and I forgot. And I have not seen this person since. And I've asked my friends, like, do you know who this is? They're like, no. I posted a picture of them in the Discord. They said they were in. I'm like, do you know who this is? Everyone's like, no. Well, see you next year. Getting Shinji. Are, you... are people going to ask you to come on them? It's the only thing I know about Evangelion. So that dude jacks off on a lady. That's it. He was, he was really, it was gross, but he was real for that. I'm going to die. Ah, uh, same thing. It's not the same thing. I made that up. Chat, the, the left rear, the right rear is almost not cold anymore. It is slowly working its way into operating temperature. Maybe by the end of the race, we'll have the rears warmed up. Skelly, I was going to pit just for fun, just for the XD. And then went, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. What's up, Barry? Welcome to the most riveting gameplay on this whole website right now. I know, I know, I know. I just sprung it on you. Efficiently whelmed. Great car, but great person. Unfulfilled. We might lap the field. What will happen first, reaching the end of the race, or then we'll have the need for an oil change? Can you pull a barbecue? I'm fucking... Fuck you. I hate you. Dude. Hi, Arrow. Hi, chat. How's the playthrough going? I am at the edge of my seat. Barry, I, 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 saw the, I saw the important part of that message, by the way. Don't think I didn't. I'm getting to the end of the race first before you get your birthday present. But uh, we're doing professional league stuff. That's all championships now. So it's just everything's going to take a million hours. But I love barbecue, dude. Like, not necessarily like, like barbecue, like... Because the word barbecue means something in different areas of the of the US, right? Like I just like barbecued food. 
like chicken, on the, like just grilled chicken on the barbecue, like sausages on the barbecue. Like it doesn't have to be like fucking what do you call it? Like uh, like brisket and shit. Like from Guilty Gear. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a forty horsepower difference. On my PC. Uh, I'm a full-blown fucking idiot, SB88. Like, my brain's tiny. And through some trial and error, I think it took me about an hour to get uh, PCSX2 ready. And, like, not at the point where I'm going to ever need to touch it again. It was just getting my uh, injecting game saves that was giving me trouble. But Yeah, I man, I want a barbecue so bad. That's my favorite part about summer. It's like going home when I go home to my parents for the summer. They're like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, anything that you make on the barbecue, I don't really care. Like kebabs, steak, chicken, all of it. Like, are you gonna eat all that? I'm like, yeah. Injecting the saves and stuff. So I did it once, but you have to get like it's not easy. I think on like Dolphin, it literally is just two clicks. Um. But on PC6-2, you need, like, a memory card editor, and then you need to actually play a game on the emulator for, like, 10 seconds to create the memory card, and then you can inject a save to it. I did it once. It took, I sp took me an hour to figure it out, and then took 30 seconds. But that's, like, if you want to download a 100% game save or, like, a modded game save. Uh, we were doing... SmackDown versus Raw, so I wanted like a creator wrestler roster. If you just want to play the games normally, uh, you don't really have to worry about that. Yeah, it was P PCSX2 nightly, and Duck Station basically works the same way. I don't know if they're like made by the same people, but the UI is like hilariously similar. I'm doing the best race in the game right now, Ender. I'm going to do like the win tonight, because why not? Also, again, I said this at the top of the stream, but there's more you hear now. I don't know what motherfuckers were stressing me out about the arcade time trial challenges being hard. I did two of them at the end of the last stream just for fun, and it took 10 minutes. I do not think that unless I pick the two easy ones. Q, okay. So nobody's out outwardly said they were hard, but every time I said it was 100% in the game, there was always some schmuck in chat that was like, you're going to do the arcade mode too, right? Kappa, Kappa. Yeah, just quick arcade mode, Kappa, which usually tells me that it's really hard and they're going, <laughs> I did the Lotus one at uh, Midfield and then the Subaru at Swiss Alps. The, the Subaru one took 15 minutes. I figure the other rally one's going to be tough because of how you have to be fast on the dirt in this game. It's just weird. Which is like, don't steer and full power. If you're turning into the corner, you're going slow. If you're turning away from the corner, you're going slow. If you're, like, wave dashing sideways, you just pick up 20 mile an hour for some reason. I will brag about it, weirdo. I don't have a lot in my life to be proud about. Me, me, I just, I was about to be like, dang, I wish we had a little bit longer of a race. We could lap the field. I forgot that we already did that. Ender, I just read that and I'm upset that I did. It is fully upgraded. I, uh, I didn't want to take any chances. I, I detune it by about 40 horsepower for the actual races, but I didn't want to, like, get walked in this and get stuck. 
Because if I gold everything first try, I don't have to go back and clean up the events. I can just... Thank you. So I, I want to... It, it would be in my best interest to win all these races first time. However, they're all really long. Um, so if I just walk away from the field and dumpster them every race, I'm going to be bored. So I took 40 horsepower out, and the race at um, Laguna Seca, I won on pit strategy. I got an overcut on second place, and then they couldn't pass me with two laps to go. So I ended up... I want to be a little bit OP, but like... Still have to try. Go suspension time. Part of me misses doing skids on stream. And uh, this is the Vitz Cup, my boy. So Toyota Echoes. Yeah, Thunder. Uh, like me in bed, you were a little bit too quick on the draw there, bud. If you are also like me in bed, you'll get another chance of an, you'll get another try in about 30 minutes if you wait. Take a couple deep breaths. Get back in there for round two, soldier. so fucking mad at myself. I said this at the beginning of the stream, too. I... 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 I <laughs> is there... Is there anybody, anybody else there that, like, also streams? Because I, I have a question, and then I have a thing that I realized about this. Like, only lately. I used to hate repeating myself on stream. Hate it. Right? Like, where somebody asks a question, then 15 minutes later, somebody else asks a question. Or, like... I tell a story, and then like 30 minutes later, I tell the same story because somebody missed it. I used to, it used to annoy the shit at me until I stopped and thought about it. I don't fucking pay attention to it every minute of a stream. Even if I might have the stream up on my TV or on another monitor, and I'm doing something else in the background, I'm not like, you know what I mean? Unless it's like esports or, or, or something. If it's just something like this, where we're hanging out, no. 160 mile an hour, pink bits, on top of that techno. You see, I know what you're looking. You're looking at the map going, wow, he's about to lap the field. No, they're already a lap down. No, nah, Nick, I, I don't know when it clicked, dude, but I was just like, no, like, and I went to other streams and literally the streamer will explain the same thing 15 times in a night. Like, if they have an announcement, the entire night, they're just repeating that announcement over and over and over again. That's just what it is. Yeah, I mean, like, if it's... There's commands, though, too, Wembley. Like, that's why I have the exclamation mark Forza command, because some, some people will bring Forza up, and I'm like, you know what? I got nothing nice to say. I'd rather not get stuck on this. And if you really care, you know what I mean? But uh, the reason I brought that up is because my stupid ass last night, I ordered sushi because I, I was tired and, like, wanted sushi. My favorite sushi place closes, like, early, like, at 9. Storm! Thank you for the 50. What's up, dog? So my favorite sushi place closes at 9 o'clock, so I got actually got time to order it last night. And uh, I put a pillow on my GT Omega racing chair because I think, like, the pad on the bottom is just cooked. I think I probably need a new office chair in my future. Um, I do want an NLR one anyway. Because uh, they're the sponsor. And GT Omega is not. So, I spilled soy sauce on the pillow. And it soaked into the pillow, like, in the pillowcase. And, uh... I was stoned to shit last night, and I just threw the whole pillow in the washer. I went to take it out of the wash, 
and hang it up to dry somewhere at like 4 a.m. And it was sitting in like four inches of water in the washer. And I was like, oh. And it was all blown up. It's like someone took a straw and went... <laughs> So yeah, every time I look over to my right, I'm looking at the pillow that is still trying to drip itself dry, and it's been doing that for the last 12 hours or so. So dumb. Half of it's dry. The other half is like I just dunked it in a tub. Cheeky. I have my Hannah Montana pillow for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yo! Emerald with the 1996. This is what you were supposed to watch today, but I was like, I'm tired. I don't want to do this today. So I said it before. If you looked at the schedule, um, I do want to do the rush speed run with the wheel, with this stupid thing that I bought off eBay for 50 bucks. Uh, I was going to do it yesterday and then went out all of my bones. We'll do it tomorrow. And then I woke up today feeling like, like just tired, like not bad, I'm playing, but like tired. I'm like, eh, nah, we'll do it next Saturday. So I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not not doing that. Just postponing it a week. I didn't think I'd be that fucked up yesterday. I wasn't, I wasn't hung over. My body was just like, nah, dog, no thanks. Your knees, dust, your ankles, dust, your wrists, dust. I didn't want to be sitting here with a wheel in front of a wheel doing this and like, I don't want to fucking be here. I have to be into it or it's not going to be fun. So I figured it would be for the best. That's like the last thing that I have to do for the streamathon, and then we're done. This is the last eight hour stream too. Well, six plus hours. Are they not fucking done yet? I wanted just to see it say minus one lap, but Jesus Christ, I'm not waiting that long. Barry! Barry, are you still here? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tradition around here when it's somebody's fucking birthday. <laughs> I want you to give you a, give a big throbbing hard shout out to Mr. Florida Man Barry Boats. Happy birthday, Barry! We, I'd ask you how old you are, but I've learned a long time ago that you never ask a woman her age. I understand you're not a woman, but I don't know. After those feet picks, I'm not quite sure. So on the count of three, you're about to get real, real weird. If I'm playing out of your speakers, I'm sorry to everybody else that you can hear me. If I'm playing out of your headphones, you want to turn those down. A one, a two, a one, two, three. I don't know what to say anymore. I've done so many of these. I'm, I'm just going to hope that I can, I can hold the microphone really close and make loud noises. And maybe that'll be good enough. Uh, maybe it won't. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm just small. I'm just, I'm just small, and I don't know any shit about fuck anymore. I, I just, I, I just, loud, funny birthday. You came out of your, thank you. Thank you for being the strongest swimmer in your class. Thank, thank you for winning the great sperm race. To all those other ones, fuck them. You're dead. You didn't make it. You're just splooge. And now Barry has to pay taxes, and this is bullshit. But I... You scotted me, you motherfuckers. I purposely don't press that button because it takes eight years. Who's responsible for this? And they add 66 and two thirds percent. I got 141 and two thirds My, chance of winning at sacrifice. I, I'll full on admit I steal that. The numbers are not done. Let's go get a home run. And they the spell the disaster the for you at sacrifice. I full on admit that I stole that bit from Jim Carrey, but that's fine. I think the bit is like, do you remember? Do you know? Do you have that guy that like brags about? 
shit they did back in the day. But back in the day is so far back that, like, it doesn't matter. And the bit's like, do you remember? You remember when I was a sperm? <laughs> I remember the day of the big race. But the field was stacked, but I beat all of them. All right, baby, let's go get a home run, baby. Love the Mets. Let's go Mets. Happy birthday, Barry. Only a slight derail. That stays in the VOD, because I don't feel like cutting it out. Anywho, I'm going to debuff the Vits. Oh, I wish. All right, back to 245. We won the last race on pit strategy with 245. an amazing week. You know what, dude? You've been through some shit lately. You deserve that. All right, I was going to talk about drifting stuff, then I got sidetracked for a good reason, but now we're back. Chat, my drifting friends. It, did anybody watch LZ Invitational yesterday? Some really funny shit happened yesterday. Like, I mean some peak comedy. Like, I mean... Like, I mean some actually really funny shit happened yesterday. Like, like I mean... <laughs> T-Pain won a drift battle on merit. T-Pain beat Mika Diaz in a drift battle. He won his first ever drift battle in real life. I have never laughed that hard. In my fucking life. Who else was on the other... S there was two of them. There was two... There was two really funny... Really funny outcomes yesterday. In the top 16 or 32 or whatever. Yeah, Mika just fucked it all the way up. Like, Mika just... Absolutely blew it. Uh, who else won yesterday that I just had no right winning? Hurt, Hurt did fucking incredible. Hurt, with, Hurt and Kearney were the best battle of the day yesterday. It was a ma it was incredible. Uh, LZ Invitational. I wonder if there's a bracket. Because there was two very funny outcomes to drift to to to, to drift yesterday. That was one of them. Sorry, uh, Brandon posted a cute picture of a. Uh, his cat. Uh, can I not find the bracket anywhere? God damn it. Event info. Uh, these kids are too many. Crusher. Dude, somebody who should not have lost, lost yesterday. That's all I fucking remember. I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. Because it's going to bother me. Day one. There's the one. Where's the fucking bracket? I remember who they beat now, but I don't remember why it was funny. I lied. T-Pain beat the guy who runs Big Duck Club. And the guy who runs B just fucked it all the way up. Like, immediately straightened out in chase. And T-Pain beat him. Very funny. Uh, but that wasn't the, the, the peak funny. Oh, it was Mika and, and Sean Booth. And I, I, I expected Mika to win that one and he did not win. At all. He got outdriven. So very funny things happened yesterday. Granted, it's like for fun. I don't think everyone's trying as hard as they can, but... They let Jeff Jones and TJ Hunt rerun a battle because fuck it. I, I actually had a lot of fun watching that yesterday. The two commentators were good too. It's the, I think his name's Dave from Drift Games, uh, who does Drift Masters. And then I don't know the name of the guy, but he's the dude that 
wears the pink, uh, not pink, the teal beanie in the FD podcasts. And man, he's gonna, he's the new commentator this year with Jared. That's gonna be a good fucking combo. Holy moly. Mitch T Pain was in a competitive drift battle yesterday against somebody who should, he should have mopped, like, should have beat the shit out of him and won. Actually incredible. It was not Mika Diaz, I was wrong. Mika Diaz got clapped by his name's Sean Booth, who is uh part of Team LZ. But R I think his name's RJ. He runs Big Duck Club or is like high up with Big Duck Club, got beat by T Pain. Very funny. <laughs> What's up, Logic? Ow, my ass! I poop. This game looks good. And I'm playing it on a PS2. Anytime somebody comes in here and goes, wow, this game still looks good, I'm like, I knew I clicked the right buttons on my little box. T Pain was just fucking hyped to be there, dude. Sim no, not sim drifting. Real cars, dude. How you doing? I'm holding into poop right now, but other than that, I'm great. Where was it? It was at Kern Raceway. It's still going on today, I think. I think yesterday was just like the losers bracket. It was an Adam LZ thing, yeah. Yeah, Baron, it was his first competition ever. What's up, LC? Yeah, it's battle. It's uh it's on it's for free on YouTube, but you will have to skim. It's not T-Pain versus Mika. It's T-Pain versus RJ. I got it mixed up. I thought it was T- Fucking got my BMWs confused. I was on another planet when I was watching this last night. Chad, I debuffed the car, and I'm getting fucking demolished here. I may have to try again. It is lap two, but like, I can't let them pull away that much. Yeah, Hertz car broke. So he used the GTO, and then that car broke, so he used Luke Fink's Corvette. Oh, yeah, TJ Hundress. He battled Jeff Jones and was actually pretty good. Her broke stuff that belonged to him and stuff that did not belong to him, and they made fun of him the entire time. I mean, Weasel, I, I, it's like midway built. Like, all I did was take off the exhaust and the chip. It's it's down 40 horsepower from max. The first race I did with max horsepower, we beat the field by half a track. And I was like, this sucks. So then I did this at Laguna Seca. And it was a lot more even. I ended up winning it on... I got an overcut on that red bits and won... So I figured, okay. But I think I'm on slicks and they're not. Somebody's burning something outside. I looked at chat. Nah, he's just unlucky, dude. He doesn't treat his equipment any harder than anybody else. 
When anybody else breaks anything, it's just like, well, that sucks. When Hurt breaks shit, it's funny. And it's a big meme. Okay. Yeah, I actually have to fucking try here. Thank you, Dill. Yeah, T-Pain didn't, like, outdrive him. He just didn't hit anything. And, like, did a way better job hitting all the zones than I thought he ever would. You remember, too, like, like three years ago when we were in a, a set of lobby with T-Pain? He's like, I don't know how to compete. I don't even know what I'm doing. And then tried to do a big entry comp, and he ate shit every single time. Because I do. My close personal friend... Tomato pain. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta, we gotta get to going here. Um, is that a mobile link deal? That might be why. Mobile YouTube is poop. All right, 10.9 seconds back. If I don't close anything this lap, we're in fucking trouble. And I'm in a championship, so there's nothing I can do about it now. It's not like I can back out and just re-upgrade the car. Oh, okay, 11.9, because we are coming off the big straight, I guess. I detuned it to make the racing closer, and then I forgot that the AI is, like, dumb and not even at every track. So we're getting fucking bent over here. I'm going to have to go for a no-stop. Which is... already kind of a problem. The fronts are already kind of in trouble. The only other thing I can think of doing is pitting like now and just running cleaner laps and hoping to get like a giga undercut. We are making up ground in the infield, I guess you want to call it like that. All right, Chad, if I'm not talking to you, I'm sorry. I, if, if The more of these races I can win first try, the less I have to redo after. I'll, uh, I'll check on the straights for sure. But I really, really would rather uh, not have to retry this. I can try to no-stop it, but fuck me, dude. I don't know if I can catch him by 10 seconds. I'm not super familiar with Route 11 Reverse, too, which doesn't help. I'm, like, tiptoeing around all the corners. We made up a, about a second there. The tires are in their yellow. They're like about to start falling off, but I think they have the most when they have the most grip. Either that, or that's when like the AI's tires start to die. Oh no! I just perp I just PB'd. What's up, Roar? I'm trying to gain 10 seconds back here. Chat, this might be doable. Oh, they are. Yeah, their their shit's killed. Hold on. Either either I just decided to, I remembered how to drive, or all of their tires just died, 
immediately in like five seconds. We just gained like four seconds in a lap. I'm going to go for the overcut again. Oh, they're fighting too. That helps. Yeah, they're going to have to pit this lap, I think. Yep, there they come. That was another 15-9. I think as long as I'm running 15-9s, I'm staying out. I, I didn't think GT3 sim tire heat. I thought it was just, like, wear. But I think when the fronts are in the yellow and the rears are heated up, it's actually when these car, this car drives its best. So I could, could have probably swapped to the softer compound, which I will in the next race. Uh, I don't know if I'm brave enough to no stop, though. Should. Sorry, that's a hell of a road trip. If you're driving, be safe. If you're not driving, then don't poop your pants. I don't know. That, that yellow car, that short pit, too, is in ahead of the whole field. Yep. I'm going to stay out for at least one more. I'm stuck because I, I want to come in now before my tires die. Because if my tires die halfway through the lap, I'm going to lose more time. But they're in, like, good operating temp right now. So I kind of want to keep using them while they're good. This lap's going to suck because I fucked up, but... You you have to change all four, Zach. If I could just change the fronts, that would solve my issue. I think I'm gonna try and no stop this. I need that yellow car to have its tires start dropping off, like, right now, which is possible because it really did pit early by a lap or two, I think. And I think I've got enough gap on the rest of the field. As long as they're not catching me, it's like, I think we might be okay, Chad. I think my tires are going to be dead, like, lap 10, but... No, five, GT 5 to 7, like, the pit stops are cutscenes. Especially in the new one. It's not fluid.
Like, you can't even see cars in the pit lane if you're driving by. Alright, as long as we're like 16.5 or quicker. Uh, we're staying out? I just perp- uh, I purpled. What well, I would assume is a purple, but I PB'd for sure. Yeah, I think, I think we got, like, one more good lap out of the front, and then they're going to start falling off. Yeah, here they come. Again, I don't think they're going to get me in time. Yeah, we're having front, front grip issues now. And as far as I know, there's nothing I can really do as a driver to save tires or anything. It's just don't do wicked burnouts. That's kind of it. really pushy on the exits now. Understeer on the entry. Yeah, I think I got to commit to the no-stop. I got to go faster through there. All right, two to go. I almost don't want to go on the softer tire. This has just made this way more interesting. That was a horrible lap for me. My right front, especially now, like I'm getting no, no hook out of the corners. Like I'm trying to use the curbs to help the car rotate too. As soon as it comes off the curb, it just understeers. I'm trying not. I'm trying to like half throttle it too, and it's like right there. I should have been good to drive off the corner, but and I'm seeing wheel spin. I might have to just short shift. I don't know. It all depends on how rough this last lap is. A short shift to third might be the move. It'll have no power coming out of the corner, but at least it won't wheel spin that bad. It's starting to like torque steer. What a fun video game. Oh, they might be fighting. I break way too much. I always think that corner's tighter than it is. Come on, Pink Vince! Be nice to your boots! Oh, yeah, that's true. The yellow car is dropping back. Because yeah, that wasn't that good of a lap. 
That was better than the 17 for sure, but. Yellow car is dropping back. I think they just pit. Yeah, Zach, the, the only difference is if this was the GTLM, I wouldn't be fighting for the win. I'd be fighting to not be lapped again. We, we will have enough tire to make it to the end, barely. Better. Come on, little friend. Uh, I think we're holding steady. I've been watching the gap. It's not moving from 14. Tell me to go down to first through here now, which is funny. The right front lasted exactly 10 laps. We would have lost so much time on this lap. On strategy alone. Yeah, like that was a good lap and that was a 218. We we were dropping back. That could have been bad. I was a little bit upset at first. I was like, damn it. I'm going to have to retry this later, aren't I? I'm going to put the, the softer tires on and pit with the, with the field. Ender, I saw them like, like I went from 10 seconds back to 5 seconds back and went, hold on. Hello. What's up, PR? I am going to change the boots. Wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? Because you can mix compounds. I didn't know that. You said you can't do it mid-race. I should go even softer. I should go like medium softs. So they would wear at the same time. That's fine. No, I think there's five races. The fucking... Test course one just took eight weeks. That was the battle. First championship of the night. We are two hours into the stream. I drove around test course for 20 minutes. And now we get 10 laps of this shit. I was on a harder tire, but I'd get gapped in the first like four laps. So I'm on a slightly softer tire now. And I'm going to try and one-stop with the field.
I the the, the fronts are wearing. Oh, I gotta remember. Like it only has to survive five laps this time. Also, like, diesels and petrol engines should basically be in two different classes because of the mileage. Oh, that's not good. How long would it, would it have taken before every LMP was a diesel, diesel just for gas mileage? We have like just enough horsepower to stay with them in the draft. Do the Wild West strat. It did not work. I thought they were all going to pile into each other, so I went really wide. Sorry, piss cart. Goodbye, piss car. Ow. Fucking nose. I may have to just accept that I'm only gonna get a nose hair trimmer. This guy me nuts. What's up, Pop? Dude, ah, uh, they're they're conspiring against me. This is being so manipulated, man. Mikey, the one up front lifts, and then I have to lift, and then I get passed by the two behind me. That was a fucking maneuver. Oh, the curb. Chat, I think we may have actually had a, have a really balanced race as long as we all pit at the same time. Your oil. What would you like for me to do about that right now? Got to time it. Yep. Tanks having a fucking stroke. This is exactly what a Vitz Cup would look like in real life, by the way. Just a bunch of fellers. <laughs> UEC Eris Paranzotti. <laughs> what the fuck? That sounds like what Italians would eat in an anime. Oh, uh, we are having tire issues. Leave me alone. Baby runs on Jolt. It's full of Sobe Pina Colada, baby.
If you like pina coladas. Oh, but you up. I'm breaking the draft. Here comes the cursed verse. I thought it was way faster that lab. I think they're just dropping off quicker. My favorite bit Q has been replacing the word God in my vocabulary with Dale. I'm going to watch it later, I think, though. You can spoil it. I'm not going to be upset, but I did that yesterday. I realized it was on, and I watched it on, like, two-hour delay, and I was like, oh, this is good. This is nice. Figure out something to do for dinner. I have no idea what that something is yet. I was going to take chicken out yesterday, but damn sushi put me in a coma, god damn it. I, I literally got $50 in sushi, which is, it sounds like a hilarious amount. It's a lot of food, but it's not like impossible. And then just got so tired and then passed out for it. I think I fell asleep at like 10 o'clock and I woke up at four in the morning, wide awake. And I passed out again at like nine this morning. Well, that's probably why I slept as long as I slept. Yeah, I was supposed to take chicken out last night before I went to bed. I forgot. Hello, bird. I don't know why I sounded so disappointed in you, but hello, bird. Chad, I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. I'm going to pit now so my tires are in temp at the end of the race. Unless everybody pits behind me, then I'm just a genius. I was just a genius, as it turns out. The, the whole field came in. Change my oil! Oi! You, you can do that! Not the first time I had five people come right after me. Premature ejaculation is no joke, ladies and gentlemen. I miss my wife. <laughs> you just go to your wife. I, I'm trying. We have a we have a date planned. It's tentative, but it's there. I have to prepare Lloyd for his travels, and by that I mean put summer tires on. And uh, figure out the whole sleeping situation in the back of the car. And once we've got that settled, we're set. I'm not destroying Lloyd. What do you mean? I'm putting his other boots on. You're putting away his winter boots. I'm getting his Crocs out. Relax. One of those rear seat beds. Overpriced, overhyped, and I doubt they're even that comfortable. I have no idea, Hasty. Not a clue. For power, for USB. Q, that is that is my plan, sir. 
for for the low low price of like nothing, I'm gonna just fold the rear seats down and they fold down flat, and put a like a mattress topper and an air mattress in the trunk. I've tried to sleep in the back seat of a car before. It's not enough space. I sleep with my arm hanging out too. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna spend like 50 bucks on one of those because I wanted one of those pop, and then I thought about it and went, I don't think this is gonna be as cool as I think it is. So like a week or two before I go, I'm just waiting on her to give me the all clear. I picked a, I picked a week. And I was like, does that work for you? She's like, I just need to make sure, like, I'll get back to you. I'll make sure, just that I'm not busy or nothing's gonna happen that week. Can't be, uh, I will not have a, a step two. I may have a non-alcoholic step two. I'm gonna be stopped at like a truck stop overnight. I don't want anybody to be like, what is the twink with the purple hair doing here? I, I do not want to draw any attention to myself. I just want to honk shoe and leave. But yeah, this solution seems way less expensive. Uh, I still, I get an air mattress out of it. Um, and uh, I forget what the other thing was. Oh yeah, I think I'll have more space to sleep. All I have to do is like move my suitcase from the trunk to like the front seat for the night. A lot lizard. Uh, it is a young woman who is self-employed in the field of uh, massages who likes to operate her business near and around places where long haul truckers decide to spend their evening. And they charge a reasonable fee for their services. So I'm told. To be fair, I probably won't be at a truck stop. I'll be like at a, a rest stop off the highway. I did that before. It was really peaceful. I got tinted windows now too. So like I'll actually be able to sleep past 630 in the morning. Or I could just get a hotel. I, I could probably afford it. I just don't want to. This is like my proof of concept if I can do long haul road trips in Lloyd and sleep in the back. Because there's a lot of places and things that I want to do. Like, I want to go to Boston. Um, I've got friends in the North Carolina area. I would love to see my friends in Atlanta more than once a year. Got a car. A 2013 Hyundai Elantra GLE, I think. Six-speed manual. He needs a good clean. Uh, and there's a little bit of rust on the rocker that needs to be taken care of before it gets worse. Lloyd is a great boy. He got me to DC, Vermont to DC and back with no issues. It was like hilariously good on gas. Uh, maybe, maybe in the fall, pop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put on the, like, the, the tires are good. The, the wheels are just ugly, but I think I can handle it. Lloyd does not have a turbo. Not at all. There, it, it's got torque, but no power. Like when you're leaving the light, it's like, uh, and then you're like, oh, wow. And then you get up to the, like RPM and go, ah, I see. Lloyd's like a hand job. He's all reliable. Dude, yeah, I think it's got the same amount of power as my Ford did, but like half the weight.
On the highway, I think it was getting high 30 mile per gallon. Like, I drove from here through Montreal. No, Lloyd's my real life car. Somebody said that it looks like a car that Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber would drive. I'm like, I'm calling him Lloyd. What is it? 2013 Elantra 6-speed. Nothing cool, but the last car I had was a 2011 Ford Fusion that was so rusty that all the electrics stopped working properly. The Speedo would come and go. Uh, the uh, gas mileage did what it wanted. It, I think it just had a bad ground, but the rust was so bad that like it wasn't worth. It was like, ah. Km. I got it. A, it's a 120. 6,000, I think. I got it at 122. And then took it halfway across the eastern seaboard. <laughs> Thanks, bitch. All right, so I went to make this race interesting, and what I did was make it a whole lot less interesting, as it turns out. The no-stopper would have been more fun, I think. LC, if I had, like, an unlimited amount of money, I'd have a Nissan Micra right now for the for the Micra series. The Micra and Sentra Cup. They're two-stopping? Are you... You gotta be shitting me. They just said, fuck it. It's a uh, Canadian Sport Compact Series, like CSCS. Canadian Tire is the racetrack. Or the business. By Pink Bits in a heartbeat. Maybe. I need to put money into the interior. I, I still think the first thing I want to buy for my car is new speakers. The speakers are terrible. There's no bass. It sounds like they're playing out of a pop can. Like, it sounds like they would have been shitty speakers in a 2005 car, not a 2013. I don't know how hard it would be to, like, just replace all the door speakers. So I wouldn't have to get an amp or anything, but holy fucking moly, they're bad. Yeah, Pop, I, I, I've, I've thought about it more than once, dude. Especially on a road trip. Like, they're awful. A head unit with a... Mm, like, I mean, the car already has Bluetooth. Like, I could get a head unit for it for sure, but the car already has Bluetooth. Like, it has... The only thing I want... It would be nice just to have a head unit for her. Because I wanted to get one with CarPlay. So I could put my GPS. Because the mount for my phone is, like, behind the steering wheel. So I can't see the fucking instructions. So if I'm on a highway, let's say in Baltimore, where if you miss an exit, they'll just kill you. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, like, complaining about it, Pop. I'd probably take it somewhere to get this done. I don't think I'd be. I don't think I'd do it my on my on my own. Man, the sound system is like the only big thing I hate about the new car. There's also like little things, like the wheel has like scratches in it. I guess from somebody who was driving it with big nails, like the steering wheel. And I feel it under my fingers when I like let the wheel slide through my hands. The uh, the shifter's got like a crack in it in the plastic. But that's like a fifty. It's like twenty bucks to get that replaced. And I can do that on my own. It's like. Uh, one screw. Um, and there's like little dents here and there. I think one of them was my fault. I think I hit a snowbank when I was in DC with the door, and there's a little dent in the door now. Yeah, I just don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Like, like, five hundred bucks tops. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to spend much more than that. I do want to keep this car forever, but, like, if we're getting near the, like, $750,000 mark. The, 
then like it's not worth it to me anymore. Easy to swap speakers. I'm sure it is. Like I can't imagine it's that complicated, but if what Pop's saying is true and he's never lied to me before, that's not true, he lies to me all the time. Um But he's never he's never led me astray on purpose before. That sounds like a lot of I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get like a subwoofer or anything. I thought about putting a sub in it. I was like, Keaton, there is already a sub driving it. You don't need any more. Um, and also like, I don't want it to take up trunk space. Yeah, yeah, what you're saying makes sense. We did it. We're done one championship. It only took two and a half fucking hours. Yeah, it makes it makes more sense when you explain it that way. The only thing I know about car audio is watching my brother do it when we were kids, and he always put in big fuck off, like, MTX fucking... I just want to replace the speakers that the car already has. So I don't want to add more to it. But what you're saying makes sense. Chad, I wonder what we're going to unlock from this. Surely it wouldn't make me do an hour and a half of racing to give me a car I already have, right? That would just be stupid. That would just be so silly. Thank you, Joe, for the resub. Appreciate you, man. Good evening. We wouldn't unlock another another Vitz, right? That'd be that'd be crazy. Hold on, wait. There was one though. No, no, no. Yeah. Got an Alteza. I forgot championships are like RNG. I saw it. I saw the little bubble. I was like, no, 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 no. Again, I don't know if the press X thing this works. Is but I saw, I saw there was a fucking uh, something with a big wing on it. I was like, yeah, that. <laughs> I don't know if this works, but I'm going to try it. I think we already have one of these, which is funny. I'm almost, I'm almost certain we have one of these. We do. So we just made 187 grand bonus. How much? When did I upgrade this? I, I, I did drive it, I guess. I thought I was I thought it was unupgraded. Uh Joe, the way to do it if you're doing it legit, like unless you're using a save state, is to save before you start the last race. Do the last race and then just keep doing it over and over again. The last the races at this point in the game take twenty to thirty minutes. I as long as it's not a piece of shit. When, like, if I could have unlocked the best car in the game and I get a Vitz, I'm going to be a little mad and probably redo it. But the time is not worth it. I've got enough money. I've got enough cars in the garage now. But yeah, you could absolutely do that. Ooh. I have ideas for that, uh, Weasel. All right, what's next? I think Elise Cup is the way I want to go now. Uh, no. What's next is fucking saving the game, first of all, actually. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do everything that's, like, like in order of size. Um, I might do, like, the win tonight. We'll see how I feel. Who makes green oil? Uh, Margarita Oil & Co.? You buffoon. So this one's seven. Ten. This big fucker. We're not this is the end game one. I don't know who told me that these are all full size full length races that take like an hour or two each. Thank you. Cause that I would have went into this 
like five hours into a stream going, we're almost done, and wanted to fucking shit your pants. So this is this is the end game championship, not the GT championship like I thought we were going to use. Thank God. Good Christ almighty. Yeah, yeah, I, I told chat not so like, I know it sounds stupid, but I was like, hey, don't spoil the game because I don't remember any of the prize cars. I don't remember the races. I don't remember uh, a lot from when I played this as a kid. So how many chances do you get to play GT3 from uh, from scratch? You know what I mean? So don't ruin that. Don't ruin my experience. If you can, if you do, you're not like in trouble. It's not like a story-based game. You're not going to jail. But I would appreciate it if you did. Somebody told me how long these races were, and I will never be more thankful in my life. Holy fuck. So, 7, 10, 5, 5, 5, done. 10, 10. I have not done like the win yet, no. I was going to do it at the end of the last stream, saw it was 20 laps, and went absolutely not. <laughs> it was like past midnight. I'm like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> no. Um, Elise or Cleo? Cleo, we're going to use the Cleo V6, obviously. Uh, and Elise, I'll probably... Ah, uh, I might not use the Motorsport Elise. It handles like a bag of shit. You would think it wouldn't, but it's like so light it just skates everywhere. It was hard to drive. I did not enjoy it. Also, I've got 1.2 million doodads. Might as well spend it on something. Do I have to poop? This would be a perfect time to go to the bathroom and run a poll. I'm gonna take this and chug it. Polls going. I'm going to go. We probably will end up doing both tonight. But I guess we'll see how long the Elise Cup takes. So, I could use the Motorsport Elise, or I could take a little guy and hope that it handles a little bit better. I know what you're thinking. Elise, handle bad? That doesn't make any sense. My hypothesis, my hypotenuse on the matter, is that this shit is so light. That it just skates all over the place. Fucking time yesterday. You came home yesterday. I thought I was home alone all night, and then all of a sudden I hear like footsteps upstairs. I was like, oh, I guess our other roommate came home. It was you. I didn't think you were coming home last night. I had a bunch of sushi and passed out downstairs. <laughs> ah, if I have to choose between the two. If I had to choose between the two, I, you know, I should have figured. Hmm. Hmm. This is important. Um, how, do, how much power do we have currently in this car? Well, let's go change the oil before chat yells at me. I, I haven't decided what I want to do yet, Pop. I could use the Motorsport Elise, which is in itself a cool car. But it didn't quite handle the way I expected it to. Or we can use a base model lease and build it up. But we run the risk of, like, overbuilding it or underbuilding it. we got 300 smackers in here. You know what? I'm just going to stick with the car that I have. Nah, it's Gran Turismo. What do, you, what do I mean? <laughs> what do I mean? That's the boring option. 
buy a car for no reason at all is the Gran Turismo way. I'm not going to go purple. I'm going to tell you why. I actually prefer, like, like my brand of purple is, like, more blue than it is purple. Hi, so hi. I'm glad you came home safe. It was genuinely, like... So I ordered a... I didn't end up streaming yesterday. I was like DJed Friday night, and I woke up, like, sore. I wasn't even hungover. I did drink quite a bit. But I was sore. So I ordered a bunch of food last night and passed out at like 11 o'clock and then woke up at 4 and your car was here. I was like, what the fuck? That's the wrong button. Getting a wife update. It's not any, nothing bad. Nah, like, 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 aggressively purple kind of isn't my brand. Like, I, I, the color I think is called indigo. Where it's like a, like a blurple, you know what I mean? XJ220 purple? Indigo. <laughs> I rarely do this pop and fresh, rarely. But you know what? That deserves it. It's very funny. So I can put a little snail on here. I see. So before I spend a bunch of money, I'm gonna go check and see if the inevitable test course race is on here. So if it's not, then I don't have to go crazy with the power. Good, 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 good. Uh, so I'm going to go full handling because that's the Lotus way. I went with the hard-ish tires, too. I did not change the wheels, and I will. Thanks for reminding me. Hilarious waste of its abilities. <laughs> yeah. Almost as stupid as putting the vits around the test course for 29 fucking minutes. I'm not mad. Could have literally just done anything else. Don't think this is necessary, but whatever. I don't know if it's a better upgrade. Um, so we got one one of these dudes. I think that should be plenty. Tires. He caught on fire, Reaver. Caught on fire. Help me, Tom Cruise. Um, 
I think we're good. I'll put the little on here. The little feller. Gran Turismo music is literally its own genre. I uh, I opened my setup last night with uh, the song. Is it GT5 or GT5 Prologue? That's uh, now, baby, but it's the Breakbot remix. I think this should be plenty. Yeah, I, I, I think this is too much, personally, but I'd rather be too far one way than the other way. Uh, the only thing I can do is lighten it more. Um, we've got the money, so I will get the harder of the two tires, just in case. This is more for, like, if the race isn't boring. All right. Let's go see if we get fucking pooped on. I want to keep the races close, though, Pop. If I'm just running away with it, I'm going to get bored. I don't want to get bored. Five. Okay, yeah. I, I don't remember. I don't remember if it was five or five prologue. I played the bit uh, of James May saying I'm old and I don't care if people think I'm weird, and I'm right into like the piano of that, and then I looped it for a couple bars. It was cool. I see. Well, we have one friend. We have one pal out here with us. What car did I start the game with? Oh, uh, the PT Cruiser, I think. I don't remember if that was my first car or one of my first cars. Shit. Well, we have traction control and stuff on. The Motorsport Elise's sound incredible. Oh, this sounds like a Toyota. Like the TC whatever the fuck. Like the GT1. Out of the way, fuck bags! Three wide and send a boat, why not? As it turns out, the lotuses are just really light and slidey. As it as it turns out, both cars have the exact same issue. I think this one's a bit better, but the assists being on don't help. All right, how's the straight line? Uh, I think we're going to compete. No, 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 no. I, I don't think so, Scooter. You played a risky game and you lost. It does not help my tires are made out of ice right now. corner there. Oh, we're going to be just fine. Front tires are still cold after lap one. So we're on the rock tires. Yeah, we're going to be fine. I don't know about like, oh, there's a corner there. I don't know about like a faster track, but As long as we're not doing, like, 150-plus, I think we're going to be okay. I'm stunned that the downshift actually helps the car rotate. 
I say this every time I think we play GT3, but like the amount that this game takes into consideration for for its time is kind of unbelievable. It doesn't sim everything, to be fair, and it shouldn't, but... Consider this, like, we went from Gran Turismo 2 to this. Well, like, Gran Turismo 2, your tires just kind of wore, depending on how long you drove on them. I also thought this was a made-up track, Joe. And I watched Formula 1 as a kid. I was just too dumb to put two and two together. A little clutch kick, because I'm a loser. There's games now that, like, I've said, I say, again, I say it all the time throughout the playthrough. I'm like, it doesn't do that, right? Because there's games now that don't do that. Uh, like, for certain championships, I figured the game would be too stupid to understand that, like, the Nismo is technically a Nissan, but it's not. No, they thought of that. Or the mines. I don't remember if it's Nismo or mines that we had trouble with. But. Like certain cars being allowed for certain things. Like, yeah, it's a PS2 game, an early PS2 game. They do fuck some stuff up. Oh. Yeah, it's... It's crazy because, like, especially for us who enjoy, like, I wouldn't even say sims, but more realistic track-based driving experiences. A lot of the stuff that I'm, like, nutting over is pretty commonplace now. But to have this in a PS2 game, and I don't think anything, any game period has a lot of stuff that this stuff had. Nismo's Nissan. That is correct, Joe, but it's listed as Nismo as the manufacturer in the game. So I just assumed the game would be too dumb and go, that's not a Nissan, even though it is. No, no, they thought of that. That was covered. I think, I think the mines was good, too. So I think we raced the... Uh, no, 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 no. Wait. No, that was like the tuning car challenge, not... GTRs. Yeah, I just assumed the game would be too... Like, if you look in your garage, the the Nismo, like, 400R and the Nismo GTR LM are under Nismo as a manufacturer, not Nissan. Mr. Kazanori, you make good cookies. Like, there is some things, too, like... Like, I'm not entirely convinced about this tire wear. I do think it is, like, more track-based and corner-based than, like, how you take the corner. Maybe with, like, some exceptions, like, if you're just prying the rears, but I've never noticed a discernible difference in, like, trying to save tire versus not trying to save tire. Really? I never noticed the difference. Well, wheel spin is slow, to be fair. Yeah, this is better than the other car. The other car, I guess because the AC... No, because I'm, like, watching the ACM. Unless I bomb it into a corner, it is, it is more stable than the Motorsport Elise, at least in my hands. I may have had, like, stock suspension or something on the Motorsport at least. I don't know what I was doing wrong there, but it was so floaty in the middle of the corner. I thought maybe because the, uh, the active stability management was on, but I'm watching, I'm watching the fucking green, little green bar, and it's not... Yeah, like, right there. Right there, I helped, but... Why 
water than in real life? Oh, probably. It's not the real track, right? So they can kind of do whatever they want. We also are driving a little guy. We inevitably will have to do the Monaco Grand Prix full length uh, for the Formula series, so... Like I said, I'm that's the last thing I'm doing in the game is Formula GT. I was going to do it beforehand, but God, I'm glad someone told me. Pop, like, think about, even think, like, like yes, from PS1 to PS2, from GT2 to GT3. Has F1 cars? Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, they're not licensed, but... Uh, something I didn't know until recently is a lot of the, like, chassis codes tell you what it is and what year it's from. So if it's, like, an F187S, it's Senna's car from 1987. But obviously they couldn't license it, so, like, it's, it's, it's like, a similar livery, maybe with some colors changed. Yeah, but even, like, this compared to other games of its era. Like, what was out in 2001 for the PS2 in terms of, like, driving? Like, ATV Off-Road Fury? That was a good-looking game, but, like... Like, if you played this, and this is no disrespect, but if you played this in Midnight Club 3 back-to-back, -back, you would not believe they're on the same console. Graphically. Like, this looks like a PC game from the same era. If I got rid of the UI, I bet you I could... Probably believe so, I probably fool you some of you into saying this is like early R Factor, like R Factor One. Who didn't know the difference? Which, again, that's kind of crazy to think about. Now we live in the era where like you can get the same, almost the same game experience, PC, Xbox, whatever you're playing it on. But to have something that was remotely close to what you could, well, no, that's not even true. Now that I think about it. PCs were, like, behind consoles for a bit. That's why you bought a console. And then PCs caught up and blew consoles out of the water, and then now consoles are catching back up. We're not going to need to stop. I don't know why I'm avoiding the bump. Fucking dookie ass game. I, I am very excited to go back and play TXR3 with an open mind. I don't know when that's going to be because I'm like dreading it. For some of you out there that are like, what do you mean? I, I never got into Shotokou Battle like Highway Racer games. Never did. It, it, it's going to sound really silly considering what I'm doing right now, but it just felt very grindy in the same thing. Like, hey, go out on this map, do a race. All right, now you beat that guy. Now do another race, and now you beat that person, and do another race, and now you beat that person. All right, time to go upgrade the car. Night, night two, do another race. It felt very grindy. I didn't really like the gameplay loop at all, but I was playing it alone in my room for like nine hours at a time, recording it. As a fix. Is it for the 100% thing? Because I don't give a shit. 
Like, that's, like, for my purposes, I mean. Like, that's cool, but I don't care. The regulars especially should know if I say 100% a game and the game has some sort of glitch or like thing that prevents you from seeing 100% of the game, then it's just get to that point. Like GT2, GT, like, I, oh, that's a curb. I told people I was going to play GT2 100% and they're like, you can't. I was like, what do you mean? Well, uh, the co content, no, 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 well, actually, and I'm like, I know that. I just figured we all knew that. So I just said 100% to keep it easy. I, I, I know this, but okay, thanks. And then when I did the playthrough, I thought, well, I'll, I'll acknowledge it right away, right? And I put like 98.2 or whatever the percentage was on the screen. Like you see how above my head I've got the, well, I've got big, big fan. I've got um, the 100% playthrough. I had that with like 90, 98.2. And people are like, what do you mean 98.2? I don't get it. I'm like, you're the same fucking people that just said I couldn't get a 100% because of the stupid, oh, I hate you. Ooh, ooh, you make me so mad. So if I do, well, when I inevitably do go through TXR3 again, it will be just do everything that the game offers until it's broken. It's not a it's not a dumb thing, Tank. It's just people wanted to be like, I know this weird niche fact about this thing. Did you know? It's not there's a very like there's people out there that genuinely do want to be helpful. And I think that's like probably eighty to ninety percent of humans, right? That just want to be helpful and maybe didn't know that you knew a thing and And I need to need to preface this with like if y'all ever had to call in, maybe even the younger folk here did, don't have to do this, but call into like your internet service provider and explain that your internet's not working. Then like, we're not idiots, right? We've unplugged it and plugged it back in. We've done like basic stuff and figured, okay, well this is above my area expertise. And then for the first 20 minutes you're on the phone with your ISP, it's, did you plug it in? Plug it on and off all? Did you reset it? Did you, do you get asked the same eight questions? You're like, what am I fucking stupid? That shit really makes me mad. It really, I don't know if it's like a, like my brain doesn't work properly thing. And I know it's shit that they have to ask. It just like, well, I'll, I'll get on the phone and be like, hey, just so you know, I'm like not super versed in this shit, but I've tried this. Uh, I've unplugged it, plugged it back in. I, da, 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 da. I've done all this. I've saved you a bunch of steps and then they got to do it anyway. They, it's their job. They have to do it like that, but it still annoys me. Like, I'm not going to go tee off on the person, you know what I mean? I'm just like, for fuck's sakes. It's a half an hour of troubleshooting that I've already done. So I don't even bother calling my ISP anymore. I just try to write it up. Anyway. This doesn't happen often, so if anyone's listening, he's talking about me. No, I'm not. It really bothers me when there's people that, like, try and be helpful, and then there's people that just, like, want to flex that they know a bunch of weird, like, niche facts about a niche interest. Whether that's video games, whatever. But those facts aren't actually all that niche. You know what I mean? Like... Like, perfect example. I know for I know full well that on certain versions of GT2... And I'm not the biggest Gran Turismo fan. Like, I love the series, but I'm not, like, into it like a lot of people are. And, like, know every, like, cut piece of cut content. And, like, that's, I don't have all that knowledge. But I know the basics, right? Like... I know, like, tier two of the iceberg, if that makes sense. So the amount of people that would come in and just go, did you know? And you're not trying to be helpful. We get it. You're smart. You do not need to seek validation from a group of strangers. You're fine, man. You're cool. Don't worry about it. But after, like, the 15th fucking time, it starts to get a little annoying. Not a problem. It's not like, you know... They're coming in and being jackasses or rude. It's just like, bro, I, I get it. I understand. Pop, I had to have this conversation with my fucking mom. Like, not my fucking mom, my mom. Uh, a couple weeks ago. I guess she's having issues with her internet. And to be fair, this is not something I completely understand either. 
she's got a brand new modem from Bell, and the and the modem does 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Her laptop is so old, I don't think it has 5 gig gigahertz Wi-Fi. And I guess there's a possibility on these new modems that they just turn the 2.4 off, and you have to turn it on yourself. Or, like, the 2.4 isn't that good, or, like, like there's multiple things that it could be. And she... Oh. Oh, my PC went to sleep. Uh, but there's like multiple things it could be, right? So she calls. And she's getting all pissed off because they're not, they're just telling her to like turn her router on and off again. She's like, well, I did that. And they talked to me like I'm an idiot. I'm like, they have a list, mother? Especially at a big company. Right? Like, especially at a big company, they just go down the list of troubleshoots. Because 90% of the people who call in are like, I don't want to say old people, but like, not technologically savvy people. And their internet goes out for like two minutes, and they're like, it's the end of the world! And then they don't plug it and plug it back in, and it comes back. 90% of their IT calls, I guarantee you, are just easy fixes. So when somebody calls them with a real problem, they're like, ah, nuts. Um, uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, right. I was like, do I want to change tires? I don't think we do. No, no, I understand. I'm not. I'm not upset. At, I'm using it as an example, my boy. Breathe. I, I, <laughs> I, I know. I'm defending you, actually. Uh, I think I kind of do want to go on the harder tire. Cause we chewed through those mediums and we didn't really do anything. So, we'll see if I regret this decision. Oh, okay. All right. I gotta, I gotta remember sometimes you're not talking to me, you're talking to everybody. Nah, Flash, like, my grandma's the worst. Granted, she's, like, 80 and had a stroke. Um, did I not just... I just did that, GTT. I'm not even gonna check, because I'm confident. Call in tech, I don't get it. Um... But, like, my grandma's uh, old. <laughs> she, she she doesn't like to say she's old. She's old. Um, and, like, she, my mom had got her, uh, like, a TV app on her Amazon Fire Stick so she didn't have to pay for cable. But whenever it, like, buffered or whatever, she would just assume it's broken. Call my mom. You're like, it's the end of the world. My mom's like, have you turned it on and off again? She goes, of course I've tried that. And then she would turn it on. My mom would drive over. My mom lives out of the city. So my mom would drive over, 40 minutes, unplug it, plug it back in, it would work fine. Or sometimes she would just change the input from HDMI to something else and go, I don't know how to fix it. Like, 95% of IT calls are just dumb shit. Like, I, I told my mom that I forgot to put new wheels on the car. That's fine. I can't leave the championship and come back, right? Like, I'm stuck. It's fine, I'm not worried about it, but... Yeah, my grandma is literally in her 80s and had to, like, understand technology going from, like, a radial phone to having an entire computer in your pocket. Like, that's... I get it. I'm not, I'm not being like, ha ha, my grandma's an idiot. Like, I would probably... I'm, when I'm 80, I'm probably going to be confused about the fucking technology kids have, too. She went from black and white TV to... having every channel ever on, on a fucking little stick. Uh, me and my grandma shot for a DVD player, like, five years ago, and it was literally all day. All day. Not walk into Walmart, buy a DVD player, and leave. Like, it was a whole thing... 
and one was like five dollars cheaper than the other and yeah my mom calls me for stuff too like that's what i mean she called me about the internet thing she goes what do you think it is i'm like well i think your modem either doesn't output 2.4 g or it doesn't output it properly and then i looked it up and went yeah it seems like that's a common issue i'm not there i don't know how to fix it so you're gonna have to call somebody or get someone to come look at it if you want to use your laptop she's like okay or like get a 5g uh or 2.4 g repeater like there's options she's like, all right Oh, it's so much more stable. The other car would have been all over the place. Oh, we're even the same color. Goodbye, friend. Emerald, I don't know if you were here when chat kept telling me that setting up PCSX2 would take me five minutes, and it didn't, and I got very mad. <laughs> I hate... I don't mind looking dumb on stream, but looking incompetent, you know what I mean, is, is, is different. Like, I get very self-conscious and upset. Like, when I'm trying to troubleshoot a problem or having a tech issue, I don't look like... I don't like looking like a fucking idiot. I don't mind looking like an idiot my own time or like looking like an idiot because I made a boner joke. That's different. Yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's... <laughs> I was going to get to that. Like, I remember teaching my grandmother how to use this DVD player, right? And she, like, goes to the library or whatever and rents DVDs or, like, borrow... I guess borrows DVDs. And I was like, all right, so if it doesn't work, what are you going to do? I'll hit this button. All right. When it works, what do you button do you hit? All right, this button. I was like, all right, cool. So what, do you want to write this down? Or she's like, no, like, I'm just trying to make sure, because I live six hours away. I can't fucking go and help you, you know? And I'm sure my mom does not want to get a phone call every day going, hey, daughter, I don't know what the thing do. Like, my grandma still sends me job applications, like, every three days. And I'm like, Grandma, I have a career now. Like, we're good. She's like, oh, okay. Two days later, don't you work for the Google? Yes, grandmother, I do. <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's the not retaining the information bit that makes me mad. Like, I can explain something to you eight times, and, like, I get it. I'm dumb, too. I have a hard time retaining information sometimes, especially when it's not, like, directly related to my current goings on um but uh like I'll tell my grandma hey like I'll write this down for you so if you ever have issues you just follow the step by step and she's like I'm not an idiot and sure enough a week later yeah I changed the channel now I don't know how to get it back I'm like boy howdy like I'm the same way with my mom but my mom like understands Like, if I'm doing a tech thing with my mom that I know she's going to forget, I'm like, I want you to... Like, she had her sound bar for her TV disconnect randomly one day, and it never came back. Which is like... I went... I fixed it. It was like some weird setting that she had to change, but it was buried in a menu of a menu of a menu of a menu of a menu. Oh, yeah, my grandma had a fucking stroke, dude. She doesn't remember yesterday. She didn't remember what she had for dinner this morning. And she had bad memory before the stroke. My grandma bought me an air fryer three times. Like, my grandma's like, I'm going to buy you an air fryer. I'm like, please don't. My mom bought me, like, uh, an instant pot that does air frying. I don't have enough room in my house. Please do not buy me another air fryer. She's like, oh, okay, no worries. And then one day, like, months later, the air fryer she was talking about just shows up. It's like, a, it was a nice air fryer. It was a ninja, like, double compartment. But I don't have room. And I'd rather keep the air fryer that does five other things then keep the air fryer, which is a really good air fryer, but only air fries. I live with two other people and our kitchen's tiny. I don't have room for that. So I sold it. 
And she's like, do you like the air fryer? I'm like, yeah, but I, I already had one. She goes, what? I'm like, yeah, mom bought me one for Christmas three years ago. I've told you about it. She's like, oh, oops. Well, now you have two. I'm like, yep, you're right. I have two because I don't have the hard to tell her. I fucking sold it. I shit you not. Like three or four months later, she sees it again on the shopping channel and starts texting me about it. Like, do you need an air fryer? Like, no. For the love of God, no. And I call my mom. Because it... Chad, I think I was streaming when this happened. So I got uncomfortable and like, no, I did. This did happen on stream. So I checked my phone and my grandma texted me about it again. And I was like, holy shit, her brain, her brain really going, man. Like she's like, this isn't funny anymore. Cause I freaked me out and I was like, I, I gotta, I'm gonna go call my mom. Like I, I need a minute. I think it may have been during the streamathon. And my mom was laughing about it. And I was like, this isn't that funny. She goes, dude, she's like 80 something, man. This, is it sad? Yeah. Is it, was it going to happen? No, I think it was during the streamathon, dude. Pop, I have like Rob, when Rob moved in, he has a bunch of kitchen shit. And like all of our space, extra space where we could store stuff is filled with Rob's, like, baking stuff, and he's got, like, a shelf with all of his ingredients on it. Um, I don't think so, Tank, because I remember being on the phone for an hour and coming back. That very well could have been during the, during a regular day, but I think it was during the stream of time. I could be wrong, but... Because I was literally on the phone for an hour. So I called my mom, like, shook it up. I was like, this is fucked. She's like, yeah, she's fucked. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, she's not, like, dying or anything, but... Hearing my mom be so calm and, like, blasé about it made me feel a lot better. Uh, yeah, it may, may, or may or may not have been on the streamathon, but I feel like I wouldn't want to be on the phone for an hour in the middle of a real, like, an actual stream. So I'm pretty sure, like, I added time back on the timer. Like, I think I remember this. Chat, we picked the wrong tires. I need them to pit. Desperately. I will also be cutting that corner because the changing direction is very difficult. to prepare for it. Well, it's not even that, dude. Like, she's had a stroke. And, like, my grandma's memory was already not great before the stroke. The stroke just does not help. There's also some more shit around that, but it's, like, more... I don't know. It's not private, but, like, it's just not for me to share, you know what I mean? I overshare a lot. I feel like this is my platform, and I can do whatever I want, but at the same time, there's, like, shit that I talk about with my family that just isn't necessary to say on the internet. Not in a bad way. It's just, like, eh. Alright, Elise's. I need your tires to start falling off immediately. Yeah, like, I'll just go on a tangent and be like, so about my childhood. Yeah, it's weird. Mm -hmm. Chad, I think I made a colossal fuck up here. I think Monica led me into a false sense of security. I realized the other day, like, there was a... I'm not going to say it now, because it would be kind of like a... 
hypocritical, I guess, to a point, but there was a certain topic uh, about my family that I kept bringing up very blazingly. And for a multitude of reasons, I was like, why are you just saying that on the internet? It's not like, oh no, like I'm gonna get canceled or whatever. It's it's like, I was talking about a specific person and I was like, I should probably just not do that. Not because of like any negative reasons. Just like, I'm over it. Why do I keep talking about it? You know what I mean? I heard Tom in my ear, like, if you're over it, then you're over it. I'm like, you're right, you're right. I hate you, but you're right. Are they pitting? Yes, yes, yes. We're so back. Maybe this was the tire choice. Now nah, you guys are cool. I don't have to explain anything to you for the most part. Y'all just get it. Unfortunately, they are on my ass, so... I did just PB, though. I think, we, I think we're good with five seconds, honestly. I know their tires were like falling to pits, of pits falling to bits on that last lap. But... Uh-oh. That's a concern, though. If I could just maintain a little, what's up, Supra? If I can just maintain a little bit of a gap going into the last lap here, I think we're cool. Not trying to do this corner properly has helped a lot. The like left to right transition there is so hard to do. <laughs> like I don't want to cut that much, but a good day today. Good. It's not so sarcastic. It's not. Come on, little fella. Hold him off. Oh, we gained time. Well, oh, I did cut the last corner. That was bad. I mean, Q, you can. I think you can like hook it to where you can stay like just on the curbs and still carry the speed. But I always get it wrong and cut the left too much. Gap you and well, I can't believe Nick said why I oughta. Yeah, I kept him at bay. Once again, I think our tires, like, when they get to yellow, are probably, like, that's the optimal temp. Because it's right before they start to fall off. Yeah, dude. I'm going to stay on these tires. I think it'll keep the races interesting. I think if I go on the same tires as them, I'm just going to be way too fast. I wish they just came in a little bit sooner. Like they would die at the end of the 10 laps. It feels like they're just starting to get there. I have the most police. I'm just choosing not to use it.
I figured it's Gran Turismo. The fun of this game is like trying to beat cars with one that's slightly worse. Also, I didn't like how it drove. It was like way too, it was like almost too light for its own good. Especially on corner entry, it would just like back it in and like it didn't feel like it had any downforce. So I figured, hey, it's an excuse to buy the other Lotus. He's a hard man. That is true. My penis might be small, but I do not have erectile dysfunction. He's pulling his cock out! Boners are not a problem in this house. Satisfying? That's another story. <laughs> there you go. I was waiting for that. Is it with me? Dude, I remember, you've been talking about that for forever. How long have you guys been together? Like a minute, right? Not a physical minute, but you know what I mean. We were supposed to do gombles tonight. I think we're going to do that on Wednesday. I think I'm going to do one run with the wheel, one run with the controller, uh, and then do gombles after uh, rush on Monday. So it'll be like a four hour and then Kukra when you're in five months. Have you like stayed together? Like has she come over for like a couple of days or like have you went to her house for a couple of days? Uh, Monaco and Laguna Seca, that's it. I thought it had more flash, but no. Super Speedway, I guess, is technically Motegi. Like, technically. I don't think the banks are quite the same, but... Like, when I moved in with my partner when I moved out here, I was the first time I lived with another human that wasn't my parents. Yeah, 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 okay, I think that's what I remember then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every, everything that I'm about to tell you, you're probably expecting already. Like, you're gonna get annoyed at first. Like, when I live with that, maybe not, maybe you guys are just me meant to be together, but like, when me and my partner at the time moved in together, I feel like we annoyed the shit out of each other for a little bit. It, it was a little bit of a test of like how much I actually love this person. But it's all shit that like didn't matter. You know what I mean? Like it was little things. It is a big step, and I know you're probably really worried, but, like... You already did the trial. You did, like, everything that I would have suggested to do. And if you're still like, yeah, this is going to happen, then you're going to be fine. I might just keep it up. I'm glad I went with a harder tire. They're like barely in temp yet, too. Yeah. I honestly, I think that was the only thing that really bothered me when I was living with my partner at the time is we both shared our space. So like for the OGs, when I moved out of my parents, I basically disappeared. That's because my girlfriend was playing World of Warcraft all the time. I didn't want to kick her off my computer. You know, because um, she didn't really have her own space. I think that was our biggest mistake. If she'd had like her own desk with her own stuff and her own space and her own whatever, I think I would have been a lot less annoyed at literally everything.
Also, just like communicating. Like, that's the, that's a big thing with living with other people too that aren't like family. Just talk. Just talk to them. Because the longer you don't say anything, the more of like an issue it's going to be. So your roommate doesn't do their dishes very often, right? If you go, hey, uh, I've noticed that like your dishes are piling up a little bit and like I don't know if you've got something going on or whatever, but like it's hard for me to come in and do my dishes when the sink's always full. And they're usually like, oh, okay, no problem. If you let it go for a few months, that conversation's not going to be as nice. Like, what the fuck? You never do your fucking dishes, da 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 and then it's an argument, you know what I mean? I don't know what you're talking about, oh hey, I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, when you don't communicate, little problems turn into big problems. Especially if you're like... Uh oh. Okay. My bad. Simply change your name. Hi, Taylor. But, um... I don't know if it's just because my brain's wired a little bit incorrectly. But the longer I, like, don't talk about something that's bothering me, I'll, like, gaslight myself into why the person's doing it and make them sound evil in my head. Like, somebody not... Like, I'll use keep the not doing dishes frequently uh, example. Which, if any of my other roommates are listening, is not something that's currently happening. I'm just pulled something out of my ass. They, oh, you know, like... They're not doing dishes because they, like, think that it's okay to do them once a week or, you know what I mean? And don't know what's making anybody mad. But if you just let it go, at least in my head, I'll start being like, nah, they don't do it because you fucking don't give a shit about us and whatever. And it becomes a lesson like, oh, this is a small problem, but not a big deal into, you're a bastard. It's disrespectful. You know what I mean? And then I sound like a lunatic because I've gaslit myself into thinking it's just for like, oh, they're side by side for the lead. That's like the one biggest piece of advice I could give anybody who's moving in with like roommates or partners is just talk about everything. If you think, even if you don't think it's a big deal, get it off your chest before it is a big deal. The amount of fucking shit. I've let go and then just it never gets any better and it gets worse. And then I and then I get mad mad and then it was something that I could have cleared up like three months beforehand if I just went, hey, you know. I'd appreciate it. Sometimes that conversation doesn't go very well, but if and if it doesn't, that person sucks. That's not your problem. I have a hard time talking to my roommates now. Well, I used to. Uh, for that reason, my, I had old roommates that you could not talk to them about anything. Or they just blow up. Like, my first roommate that I ever had. Every time we're like, hey, man, maybe don't leave your, like, wet laundry all over the house. Well, how else am I supposed to dry it? The dryer? The dryer doesn't get it dry enough. Put it in for longer than 20 minutes? Yeah, but I don't like using the dryer. I don't believe in him. I'm not making that up. That was a real thing that I was told. Hey, man, maybe don't <laughs> leave your dirty socks all over the house on the floor when the pets are here. Yeah, I just take my take my socks off. Bro was a dryer denier. He was a weird dude, man. He was a weird fella. I remember my ex owed him money, but my ex moved away and he came over here uh, when I was at work and my other roommate, who is not involved at all, was home and he was like, where's my money? And he was like, I don't know. Isn't it Keenan's ex that owes you money? He's like, yeah, but you live here. You're responsible. He's like, that's not how that works. And then was like, I, you will rue the day you wronged me. He's a strange fella. I remember we went on. Make sure my notes. I remember we went on placement for school, and like, he used to have to have his like teapot, his salt and pepper shakers, like all this shit, on the on the stove top, 
And then it's your stove stops full of stuff. So it's like you feel cramped when you're... I told you, our kitchen's small. And we're like, hey, can you, like, put your salt and pepper shakers and shit away? Which he wasn't even using. They were just for decoration, which is the best part. Um, he was like, yeah, what? No, like, whatever. So he went away. We all went away for six weeks for placement. He came home to grab us something he forgot. And in the time he came home, he put all of his stuff back out onto, this, onto the oven. Even though he was only going to be home for 10 minutes and then left. And my ex calls me. We were still together at the time because I was like at home, home, like six hours away doing my placement. And she's freaking out because she's so mad. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I understand why you're upset because it's frustrating because he spent all that time cleaning and like he comes in and undoes all of it. But like, remove yourself from your situation for three seconds. Isn't this fucking hilarious? Isn't that really funny? It's not the answer she was looking for, guys. Um, your girlfriend calls you mad, just be mad with her, I think, is the correct way to go about that. Not go, this is actually really funny. <laughs> Even if it is kind of funny. Oop. Oop. The boys, oh my god. Yeah, this is a weird dude. Yeah, like, if I call you furious, the first thing you want to hear back is like, hee 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 Not a French person. I met an actual French person in VR the other night, and I felt like an asshole. So I, like, I, they're like, are you French-Canadian? I'm like, well, I'm from, like, a bilingual area. So, like, I speak French, but I'm not French-Canadian. They're like, oh, okay. And they're talking to me like they're not. In French. Do you remember what they said? So they said the word merde? That's not poop. M merde is not poop. That is, that is shit. They were swearing at y'all, Ringo, no. <laughs> dude, that's the oldest trick in the book, dude, no! Don't, don't believe when someone tells you, they, if they say something to you in a language, do not immediately believe them. I used to have, I was uh, talking to somebody who lived in the States, and I told them I spoke French, and this was before Google Translate worked good, and I called them mon petit pupitre for like a month before I, I, I told they re, they're like what does that even mean I'm like it means my little desk I'm like you've been calling me a desk for a month I'm like yeah I thought it was cute I got in big trouble I was like 15 though honestly for a 15 year old me that was some riz that was that was not my worst idea they did not pit by the way Okay, hold on. I gotta pay attention here. I may have to bonk this dude out of the way. I was like not paying attention because like they're gonna pit, right? Unless they pit right now, which is some crazier things, but. Unlikely. Oh, I was a little worried there. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I just had to pull out a PB at the last lap. It's all good. I want to sell for 500 bucks. In Discord. Dude, go, go for it. Congrats, by the way. Welcome to brand new hardware. 
I was a little worried there. I'm like, oh no, I don't know if I can catch this dude. I was like, I don't know if I can catch this fucking guy. <laughs> I've been kind of just chit-chatting, assuming they were going to pit, and uh, they did not pit. Yeah, I, the AI are dumb, though. Super, that happens sometimes. Oh, no, it's not frequent, but it it wouldn't have surprised me is my main point. I Stop giving me the reverse layouts, goddammit. I like Rome forwards. Uh, the little short shift. I have an idea. That was my idea. It unfortunately did not work as well as I was hoping it would. I am uh, I am supposed to go see my uh, my wife. We're not married. I just call her my wife because it's cute. In uh in the middle of April, and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do my taxes before I go. So I'll like hear about how much I owe or how much I don't owe when I get back. And if I don't owe anything, which is, I got my tax return from Twitch. It's not a big number. It's a much smaller number than I anticipated it was gonna be. Um, which is good. So I have to print out all my invoices and stuff now and send that to John Taxman. Oh, it's a tap. We're about to a three or a three. But if I don't owe any money on my taxes, I'm going to build a pewter, I think. The, uh, the quirks and features of my old computer are starting to be, like, concerning. Like, I think the hard drive is getting old. It's a, like all my stuff's on a mechanical. Unironically, Ringo, thanks for putting it in the right uh, sub thread. So many people like I bought a thing and then just put it in general. Okay. Like to be fair, I think we have too many sub channels in the Discord. We should just use general for more general conversation. But fuck. Also, that means you guys get to watch me build a computer on stream. That'll be fun, right? Have a bunch of random nerds from Twitch tell me that I'm doing it wrong. No, your PC can't run emulators. No, 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 no. Yes, your computer can run it. Ring. Body. A cell phone can run an emulator, my dudes. My favorite thing, Isra, was like spending a bunch of money on parts and then having somebody tell me that I bought all the wrong parts while I was putting in the, the computer together. I've never wanted to... politely yet firmly ask somebody to leave more. But I'm like... Holy moly. And, and holy moly. Did you... Did you change your username, Harpsichord? Because I don't... I'm... 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 I'm perplexed. Thanks for the tier three... resub, but... I feel like I should recognize your name. And I... Other than, like, the last couple of weeks, I do not.
Maybe they'll pit this time because they are just... I could keep up with them at Deep Forest. I am not keeping up here. I This is also probably my worst track in the game is Rome Reverse. I suck here. I always turn in too early to every corner. I mean, Supra, either they'll have to pit or they'll be on dead tires at the end of the race. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I mean, the car weighs nothing, Flash. That's kind of got something to do with it. It's so easily disrupted by the curbing. Like, the bits has a... It's a bit heavier. It has more stability. So, in the slower corners, I actually want to get on the curbs because it helps the car turn. But... The little guy here is such a little guy that, like, clobbering the curb seems to upset the car more than it actually helps. Especially if you're going slow, it just, like, jerks it left or right. Tank! Well, we'll find out. This is the last race, I think, too, isn't it? Or the fourth. Come on, I do. We did Monaco. No, nah, it's the fourth one. consistently I feel like I'm going to agree with you by whatever you mean but please elaborate it's the weirdest thing to try and explain to people who do not stream getting off hey, yo. getting offline and being like tired like what'd you do you just played video games I could do that for like 18 hours a day and not be tired. But like you're using part of your social battery at the same time. Like I'll stream for ever, like for a day, and then have friends invite me out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I don't feel like it. I'm like, why? I'm like, I'm tired. I'm like you didn't do anything. I'm like, you're right. Carl, this is not Aerotech underscore. I would not dark side fill here. Who's the doctor at Thugonomics? Your mom. It's John Chena, of course. Clearly not. I actually have the opposite problem. That is correct. I violently love a lot of people. Wow! I thought the notification glitched. Well done, gang. Tank and Flash gotta do, go do karate in the garage now. We don't have any brakes. Also, it's like, because this is not a traditional job, I don't know if like other people here who stream quite a bit or do any sort of atypical work, online content, whatever, 
I don't know if some of you have OnlyFans, and it's none of my business, you know what I mean? That's very funny. Um, but it's hard to explain to other people why, like, oh, uh, you're ti it's tiring and exhausting or whatever. And on top of that, too, like a lot of times, like I don't believe it. Like I'll finish up here and go, wow, I'm so tired. I didn't fucking do anything. Why am I so tired? And be like, oh, well, I didn't do anything today. Why am I like? Why do I feel like I don't want to do this? I'm just lazy. And it's like, no. So I'm not like, I don't have like a hammer in my hands for eight hours a day, you know what I mean? And uh, another thing too is like when you do this and you're your own boss, Aaron, um, you always, I always feel like I could be doing more. It, and I, I don't know if this is because I could be doing more or just gaslighting, you know what I mean? But like on, on stream days, that's all I do. Sometimes I'll make, and then I'll do the stream and then make sure the VOD goes up. Uh, like for example, the, the burnout one got fucked up the other day. So there's going to be two VODs going up tomorrow. I accidentally cut out the first half an hour. I don't know how that happened, but, um, Fuck off, asshole cunt. Like, every day I feel like I could be doing way more. And even days where I get, like, a lot done, I'm like, no, there's more I could have done that day. All right, chat. I got to put two, like, heavy laps in here. Or I hope their tires just explode. I am, I've been genuinely trying to focus. I need them to pit, like, right now. I also thought this track would be hard on tires, so I figured it wouldn't be... ...that difficult. that curb please pit please pit please pit please pit please pit they did not pit there's a fucking curb again yeah we're fucked unless their tires like literally disintegrate right now and I start running one minute 30s so I've got no chance here Come on, Grand. Tur Come on, Hideo Turismo. I need a little bit of luck. I need a little bit of luck here. Please pit. Please pit. Their tires are falling off. I gained a second. I don't know if they're falling off enough for the AI to pit, though. Boobies. Please pit. We're in trouble.
please have a meltdown of disastrous proportions. I'm gaining, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I need them to actually, like, just basically tires dead now and just start bouncing off of each other. We're putting on the stickies for the next race. I don't care. Oh, don't give me hope, bro. Fuck. One more lap. Their tires are gone. One more lap, I would have had them. Yeah, they're dead now. Unless they all pit now, which is possible, but highly unlikely. The AI are kind of dumb. Yeah, they're not pitting. Fuck. Yeah, one more lap. God damn it! And my tires were just coming in, too. No, 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 I'm actually you. upset. redo this one I mean we're still good on points and everything like, that's not a problem but like I'm pretty sure we just mathematically won the championship and the most points the motorsport at least can get in blue is 30 I thought Roman would be hard on tires that's why I wasn't really worried I'm not taking chances in this one I'm putting the sticky tires on and I'll pit with them if I have to Yeah, Q, but I have to gold every race. So I'm going to have to go back and do that race again. That's the part I'm, I'm that's what I'm upset about. <laughs> I got the tire strategy wrong on the last race, Thunder. I was just c catching the pack on the last lap. So I put the stickier tires on. I went from medium slicks to, uh, or slicks to medium slicks. I figure worst case scenario, like we're good on points. Like I could quit right now and we win. Nick, I, I just threw it for the keychain. You're right. Hey, no. Oh, wow. That was lucky. Almost got bananaed. Bracket to death. Close bracket. I might be able to go three and pass all three of them. Well, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to, to be fair. A slightly different blue. In canon, Aaron, I'm no longer fucking around. Out of the way, fuckface. I've been making this even for your pleasure, not mine. It appears I've given you too much hope.
Yeah, welcome to the fucking... Oh, you thought, you really thought. I went for the crossover and then I got banana. I didn't think they dipped that low, the AI. I wasn't even worried about the, the dive bomb there. Scared. I have not seen the poster for MF Ghost season two. I watched like a an episode or two of season one, and it was better than I thought it was going to be. It is it is very initial D, but not that that's a bad thing. You fucking you fucking you. You fucking stay back there. Since when do you use that line? Hold on. Oi! Dude behind me is just learning. That's the wall, you fool. Me and the Cheeto are coming through here. Are their tires dead already? No. They're like already fencing it and shit. So I'm like, are they? Is their shit killed already? I've now unleashed my true power, AKA tires that are probably built for this race or tires that are more appropriate for this race. I mean, and I've got a, I've got a gap so I can actually break when I want to. Still incorrect, as it turns out. Leave me alone. It's also kind of crazy how much like one tire compound changes the car. Like I couldn't keep up with them on one tire compound harder than this. If I was a kid, I would just assume this car is like not good enough. But one tire compound means the tire heats up faster, comes into operating temp quicker. So the lap times I can do on lap eight, I can now do on lap five. Grand by God Turismo. Is that is it the dog? No, it's the other hip hop song. That's a wall. They've upset me, Q. I'm gonna come back and do that one race with a motorsport at least too. Just to prove my point. Like, I handicapped myself for entertainment value. I'll show up on the same equipment. I will take you to Gapplebee's. In my mind. Actually, I say that. The rear tires are wearing at an alarming rate.
I mean, it doesn't matter. If they pit, I could just pit the next lap. If they no stop, we're fucked. I think. Did we restart? No, I can still win the championship and then go back and win the one the one race I didn't uh, hold. It just saves time if I win them all in the one run, so I, don't, I do not have to go back and clean anything up. They're just hanging out. They're just vibing. They're also kind of there as like a warning. Because if the 190 in the back pits, that usually means, at least from what I've learned in the last four races, that the most bow elites are coming in very soon, either the next lap or the lap after that. So we see the 190E pit. Mark! Holy shit. Oh, you did that like, whatever. Oh. I'm not gonna question it. Good evening. I'm getting mad at a bunch of British sports cars. Well, I say mad. I don't know if I should like save the rears or just use them while I have them. Oh, orange car past the blue car finally. Twitch be twitchy. Yeah, I've learned to not question it. There's the dog. Please pit so I can pit. The foods. Don't you love chicken tikka masala? The most br British food? I need little brother Lotus to pit this time. We are no stopping the race. Unless all the motorsport releases come in now. They will not, I don't think they'll come in lap 10 of 10. And stores. You know, that fucks me up. You know that, right? That really fucks me up. That really, that really, that really frustrates me on, and to a, like, unreasonable level. Gordon, by God, frozen food is garbage. Now has a line of frozen food. Sell out. I won't lie though, the the mini Wellingtons, I might give that a whirl, but that's got me that's got me that's got me at least curious. Tastes good or not? Oh, they all pit! Damn it!
I have two options. I pit coming to lap 10 just so the car isn't like wildly unstable. Because we have like a 10 second gap. Or I stay out, take my chances, and just like, yeah, I'll just stay out. I have a huge lead. That right rear is concerning me now, though. At the same time, though, like, I might just be gaslighting, but I'm pretty sure, like, Gordon's opinion is like, hey, I would, you should cook for yourself, but, like, if you're just eating for sustenance, there's nothing wrong with frozen food. It's like people on Kitchen Nightmares uh, who, like, run restaurants and go, our food is delicious, and it's just frozen hamburgers. And, like, trying to make other people pay for the food and, like, brag about it. I think that's where he has an issue. A 5.5 out of 10. Honestly? That's not that bad. Like, I don't think you're getting a 10 out of 10 out of from Frozen anything, to be fair. Wolfie, you're a top. It's implied that you pay for dinner. Fuck the kid out. Honestly, Q, if you learn how to, like, actually cook, it, it's frozen stuff is always more expensive. I've done the math. Even frozen meals are, like, five, six bucks, and you can make it yourself for, like, half the price per serving. It's more initial cost, but, like, you can make four servings instead of one. As somebody who only has to feed himself, though, sometimes I don't want to spend 20 bucks on ingredients for one meal. I did he. Forty-two. That's the weed number. All right, what are we getting? Give me something cool. Um. Ha. Huh. Good. <laughs> it's a rare color, I guess. I think. Good. Good, great. It's not even champagne, it's got like a red tinge to it. I'd call it rosé, if anything. Alright, well let's go fucking clean up the one race I caught 
I waited for the tires to die, and it happened on the last goddamn lap. I have changed my oil and put new wheels on it because it looks cooler. I'll go check. The, oh, oh, better roll, too. Instead of just two regular lotuses, there's low tie, if you will. There's three now, so it's an even field. I wouldn't pass, put it past the British to be wrong. Up the middle. Not this time, gentlemen. I've learned my lesson. I know the track layout slightly better. And I got cool wheels. Fool. I will be here, Q. I got I'm doing at least one more I'm doing the Elise on that. The the that 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 that. I should have put that in my set last night. <laughs> I'm doing the fucking Clio Cup. God damn it. Why are things so easy but words so hard? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I can't complain, I suppose. I'd rather not be redoing this race right now, but hey. Them's the brakes. Aaron, if they didn't, it would be so boring because there's not a whole lot of race cars in the game. Like, don't get me wrong, there is, there's like enough, but... If it was all race cars, I'd be using the same two or three cars over and over and over again. I'd be bored by now. Because that's actually like a criticism of mine. I had to do the Vitz Cup in the Pro League. I, and I already did the Vitz Cup, and I get they were using events, but like, come on. I think that would have been cooler as like a Toyota challenge or like, you know what I mean? Like, do a do a, a series where in the amateur league it's like the slower car, and then it's the faster cars later on. But it's literally the exact same cars. Like, there's only one good Vitz in the game. There's two, but the 1.5 is the good one. So why would you use anything else? Unless you're just being cheeky. Like, I'd much rather be driving something I've never driven before.
I don't mind the uh, the lap padding, but like when it's in a ten race championship, good god! I, this is a, this is five races, and it still feels like it takes forever. If it was just those like three race individual things, that'd be fine. Now that I'm used to it, Aaron, I love how this game drives. It felt a little bit disconnected at first, but I stand by what I said before, and this is like the best Gran Turismo handling before Gran Turismo got serious. Like, 4 onward, it's like genuinely, like, it doesn't feel like a video game anymore. And yeah, maybe there's Simcade handling by today's standards, but like, the jump from three to four, it felt like two different video games. This still feels like the PS1 physics, just like more detailed. Hello, Roberta. I don't know if it's because of the way the camera moves and like, I don't know why they ever changed that by the way. Objectively, the worst thing they ever did to GT long-term was change the uh, the chase camera. It makes all the cars feel so fucking stiff. Oh, there's mods. What mods? Ten years ago. Just use the bumper camera. That's weird on a controller. That's, this, is, this is weird to me. It, it makes me uncomfortable. If I'm on a wheel, it's different. On a controller, no. And they never brought it back. Like, even in the new games, you can, like, there's options, but it's not the same. Good night, Skelly. Have a good eep. May have to go to the, uh, the gas station and hope they have pasta. Claustrophobic. I can't do like like my brain when I'm on a controller understands chase cam. Like it's what I'm used to. I can look ahead and still hit apexes, know where all my car is. When I'm on a wheel, I can like fill in the blanks, and I still like it, like even if it's this bumper cam, it feels good. When I'm on a wheel and chase cam, I feel so disconnected. I'm like I don't know where anything is. I turn and it just doesn't feel like it's attached to the car. Like, it's, it's so weird. And it's the same thing with controller here. Like, I'm just, it feels weird. I could probably get used to it. It is all a matter of preference, but. Yeah, I try, I'm weird. Like, I try to use the cockpit camera if on a wheel. I feel like, like, the reason you buy a wheel is like, for the immersion and the experience, and then doing roof cam and stuff kind of takes you out of it. I realize there is a, a competitive advantage depending on the game, but. Like I think WRC is one of those games that you can get like the roof camera that looks good with the, with the hood just in view. Uh, GT is another game that does like the new ones. I always try to go cockpit. GT7 might be an exception because a lot of the cockpit views are like super 
I don't like the FOV. Lucky this was one of the shorter ones, I guess. It's not a 30 minute test course race. Remember that one time my shifter broke and then I fixed it and it actually fixed an issue it had been having for years? That's funny. deal I love I love VR for racing it's just like I I've said it a hundred times like I don't stream with it but it's so immersive but it's such a pain in the ass sometimes the amount of times I've been in races with people too they're like oh my VR cut out and then they like fly off and hit a tree that doesn't happen as much with just a monitor I'll have to do some measurements but like I, I really do think I want to have a serious talk with myself about an ultra wide. I just want to see how it would impact 1080p gaming, that's all. Like, if I plug my PS2 into my ultra wide, is it going to get weird? as fuck for like low seat time stuff too uh you're not carl the other homosexual on my telephone um for like aceto drifting some people swear by it because you can just physically look and see where other people are even if you're not using in-car camera or using roof cam it's easy just to look left and right you know what i mean uh for tandems and stuff but you're only wearing your headset for what Five minutes at a time. Uh, for Dirt Oval, I know a lot of the pros use it. For Dirt Road, I know a, like Nitro Circus, I think, is sponsored by Pimax. But uh, I, we, I don't know if you were here when we had this discussion before, but I'll, uh, it got brought up during the Bathurst 12 hours. Um, why a lot of pros don't use VR. And... Uh, it's like there's too many points of failure. Like, what if your headset turns off two hours into the race and you just eat shit? Which, I use my VR headset for fun, and even then, like, it... Some days, yesterday, uh, Friday, it worked great. No issues. Some days, it will not work properly at all. And it really just depends on the day. And like, unless you want to get a big screen beyond, which is so expensive, they're heavy. And that's a lot of weight on the front of your face. And even big screen beyonds are like a brand new product. Like they're just, just getting into good circulation now. I've had a friend that had to order hers twice. Cause the first one, like they scan your face and figure out and have a mold for your face. And they fucked up her mold. So she had to send it back and do it all over again. Well, I can't. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Like for casual stuff. I mean, like, like that's what I, that was my, what I was saying. Oh, hey, was there are like some competitive sim racing uses for VR that I think it is. Big screen beyond is literally looks like a pair of sunglasses. It's incredible. It's like super new tech, so a lot of the stuff that's been launching has been hit and miss. Like Ian Chevette's got one, and it took him a while to like get it dialed in, and now he's like, this is awesome. Like it's incredibly good quality, it's super light. It's like a pair of swim goggles.
Yeah, and another thing too is like it seems like a lot of people who are really good have like caps or race labs or something open for additional information. And that in VR is like having anything on the screen in VR is stupid. Like if you and not stupid as in like don't do it and it's objectively bad. But like I feel like for the most part, if you want to do VR racing or sim racing or rally or whatever, immersion's probably like a number one priority. Cherry, Junkie XL was in like every racing game for five years. I know this song from uh, uh, Need for Speed High Stakes, for example. But, um... Yeah, if it's for fun, like, I've done practice sessions in iRacing where I go, like, I, I take the headset off and go, wow. I did some stuff, like, just testing when I got my, my vibe just to see if it would work properly here in this play space. Where I was doing truck stuff at Crandon, and it was so cool being able to, like, hit the brake, back the truck into the corner, and physically be able to look at the apex and track it. On a single monitor, I got to back it into the corner and then just hope that I'm on the right line, and then halfway through the entry, you'll be able to see your apex. But having all that shit on screen was my main point. Like, it's like I don't like streaming in VR because having my chat either has to be right in the field of view, which defeats the purpose of VR, in my opinion, or somewhere out of the field of view. So instead of just, like, quickly flicking my eyes to the right to read chat, I'll have to look down, look up. Look, it's just, like, you're looking away from the rope. There's a lot of people out there who do it, and I give them all the credit in the world. It's not something I will ever be able to do. It, it's, it ruins the experience for me. Some people, like, don't have monitors, and, like, their VR is their setup. You know, it's, it's not, like, objectively bad. I just can't do it. Oh, it's all V6s. Excellent. Uh, I almost want to get a regular Clio, but... No. I am getting hungry. Get a particular area. Even then, it's like an, uh, uh, a, 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 a distraction. Rose pink metallic. Like, I tested it uh, on the second channel, and then I tested it offline before. And just pinned... Um, uh, I just pinned it. And like I said, I tried to put it, like, just out of the corner of my view in the windshield area, the glove box area of the car. And it was still, like, two in the way. Like, my eyes kept looking over, kept looking over, and kept looking over at it. So it's distracting. And then I tried to put it, like, down where, like, let's say the center console would be. Or, like, where the wheel is. Like, center of the wheel. And then again, like, especially in, in, like, competitive racing and sim racing, shit happens fast. I think I was in a practice session where I looked down and I looked up and the guy in front of me had spun. And I couldn't react to it and plowed into him. So there are people out there who can do it. I am not one of those people. Hello, lad. I don't remember. It's about to be. Again, Aaron, I'm sure people can do it. I'd actually rather text and drive. Because if I can text and drive, I can grab my phone, right, and like quickly flick my eyes I can't do that in VR Ooh. no I can't put the Daryl wheels on here Ooh. oh my god they yeah never mind this is funny I'm doing this give it a rinse I think when I was upgrading this, I was broke. Oh. Did I buy racing tires for it? I did. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to buy the slicks, 
I'm going to do it the opposite way that I did it before. I'm going to use the medium slicks and then have the hard slicks as an option if I want. So it seems that got me into trouble in the last one. Oh, goodness. Oh, heavens. Our right, Yokohama strawberries. Well, considering we're in Ray's tank, I'm going to say unlikely, but I'm going to go back just to look. Very rarely do I look at amount of horsepower and go, oh no. <laughs> yeah, because Yokohama is a brand in this game. That's why I, I, I like believed you for a second. And I was like, wait a minute. Why would they not be under Yokohama? I am going to get... Oh, can I not get I was like, can I not get the big whistly boy and use this for like the wind? That'd be really funny. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, let me uh let me 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 I'm pretty sure yeah, Yokohama do have a brand here. That's why I was like Are these what you're thinking of here? Or are these bad boys? Or perhaps these bad boys? Oh, hold on. These are pretty nice. Oh, I used to put these as a meme on cars. I don't know what wheels these are then. They're definitely rays. But I don't know. Or did you just get Yokohama mixed up with like rays? Okay, okay. Did not expect Tank Catapult to be educating me about Japanese wheels. Kind of incredible. This is a rare moment in history. I was going to say, Aaron, they'd kind of do look like strawberries, like the texture and everything. Nah, I was going to put on a little bit of TC on, but... I'm also going to do something smart. I didn't check. Okay, we're good. I wanted to make sure there was no test course. Not I fully upgraded the car. There's not much more I can do, but I think I've earned an easy one. After that fifth place at Rome in the last one, that was uncool. What? No it's making some noises. I started in second gear and still roasted them. Chad, I'm scared for this first corner. Goodbye, nerds. I'm gonna leave the car strong for the for the for the first race, obviously. And we'll see how, how, how much we win by and how easy this is or isn't, and go from there. So I want to. I want to see how it, it makes the scudo noises. By the way, but I want to see how the tires wear and. This is just the Group B rally car that we never got out of the Clio. Somebody has to have like done a render or made a Renault Clio V6, but like hill climb spec, right?
like slap a big whistly boy onto the engine and put like a fuck off wing and a fuck off like chin spoiler. That has to exist, right? Like that has to be a real a thing that somebody's done. Oh wait, no, no, because this is a Renault, not a Peugeot. I get them confused all the time. It doesn't mean it shouldn't have happened, but I get Renault and uh, Peugeot confused all the time. That'd be like the one thing that I wish they brought over from Forza that in this era was tire size changes. Even even uh, as somebody who wasn't really interested in circuit racing for the longest time and only wanted to drift stuff in games, having like an S13 be in, in like newer Gran Turismo's, you're like, oh, cool. And then the rear tires are like 195s so and you put eight horsepower in it and it just burns the tires off and can't hold any grip. That's about 100%. Uh, I think we're like 60, 65 in that area. Uh, I'm doing the longer championships in professional league. And then I'm going to do the endurances. And then I'm doing Formula GT at the end. But we've 100% we've all the licenses. Oh, and I got to do the arcade time trials. But we're doing the longer championships in pro league right now. Yeah, the car might be a little overpowered, but I think I'm going to have to pit. But yeah, if I had to guess, I think we were at like we were at just just hitting 60 in the last game, a last playthrough, or last stream. Sorry, oh my god, I can't talk. I think we're. They we check the. I forgot that you guys can't see this. It's kind of weak, but the playlist of the vods are like at 70 hours, I think. And the licenses took a while. I thought that the, the, the rally and the super license would be the easiest to do. No. <laughs> the opposite, actually. Yeah, I thought it would be like an 80 to 80 to 100 hour game. Going into it. I didn't think it was going to be that long. I've been playing this game way more than the other two that I'm currently playing through. And it's like... I feel like we're at the same length. I was going to play Horizon tonight, but I was like, no, I can probably finish it in one or two more streams. I don't know if there's that much left to do. Other than just do all the PR stunts and... Hope that I get the barn finds. That's kind of it. Oh, and I guess the, the upgrade signs too. But I'll have to consult a guide for that. I don't have to. I could just drive around aimlessly, but I would rather not. Yeah, we're... we're I'm going to pit. Um, and the next race, I'll probably un, uh, downgrade the turbo just so it's a bit closer. I do not want to have to redo races, but at the same time, if I just demolish the field every time, I'm going to be bored to tears. Last time I thought I got the balance right, we got smoked. And I mean, like, like, thank you. First of all, well, it's not like I don't, I don't appreciate that you just did math. On Twitch, when I add them to a collection, it tells me how long the the playlist is. And it, for whatever reason, it only does that on the streamer side, I think, not on the viewer side. So I can go back in my collections right now and just see how long every uh, let's play is. 
right now, Fallout New Vegas, I think, is the longest one that I have, and it's in the, the 80s or the 90s. Oh. Well, never mind. I take back my thanks. You didn't have to do math at all. Could hear them on the other side. That's cool. It's nine plus ten, sixty-nine. Four twenty. Nick, smiley face. Colon three. Boots. Doing all the quests. So that's the main game, the DLC, and I want to say probably 60 to 70% of the quests. I'm sure I missed some stuff, but. I don't think I did everything. I did a lot, but I don't think I did everything. Especially in the DLC, like, there's definitely more side stuff I could have done, I think, in some of them. I figured if I wanted to 100% New Vegas, it would be, like, a 200-hour game. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I just did side quests till I got bored and then did main quests, and then when I got bored, I'd do side quests. I'm already pretty, like, easily distracted by side quests in games, so I, I was like, ah. If anybody's watching this, like, why didn't you do this? I probably did at some point. might be a bad boy and order food today. I'm so hungry. I ordered food last night and I was like, okay, that's your order for the week. But I don't like ordering food more than once a week. And I have groceries, but I have no chicken that's thawed. Chicken you're not supposed to like thaw with hot water or anything too, because it'll fuck it up. So I, you just have to, like, put it on the counter and wait. There's no way this will thaw in the next, like, two hours. I have options. I've got, like, craft Dinner and whatever, but that's enough food. Normally, I have craft Dinner and then, like, a snack after, but I ate the last of my cereal last night. I was a little fucking goblin. I just cold water. Either, either way, my point is I don't think it'll thaw in time. If I'm lucky, I'm eating by that. You're not wrong, Dill, but I will be eating dinner at like 6 a.m. 6 which is, I've done it before. I'd rather not. I might, uh, I may perhaps peruse what's open. I got another 50% off coupon from Uber Eats for groceries, too, so I might do that tomorrow. Dude, especially over COVID, I was spending hilarious amounts of money on food delivery. Like, hilarious. I think over COVID, it was acceptable. Especially, like, pre-vaccine COVID, where we didn't understand what the fuck anything was. And wa generally wanted to limit trips outside and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but since, like, food prices, especially here, have skyrocketed, and that is... I used to be able to order Uber Eats with delivery and everything for like 20 to 25 dollars which is still a lot for one meal but i don't have to cook anything and you pay for the convenience now 
it's like thirty to forty dollars per order, with like tip and delivery and everything. The food prices are going up. Grab my bag from Lysol. Yeah, like we used to. I remember here, because of my, especially with the roommate I was living with at the time. She doesn't live here anymore, but she's immune to compromise. If she caught catches COVID, it's a she gets oh she gets a cold and like we talk about the hospital. You know what I mean? Like sh we do not want her. We did not want her to get COVID. So like every time we got home, I had to wash our hands immediately. Not a bad habit to be in now, to be fair. Like spray spray the door handles all the time. Like like we were being very careful. Um, But it's just a habit I carried over into I can leave the house and get my own food. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you know this, but maybe some of you don't. Depending on the restaurant, like if, if the restaurant's cool, their Uber prices will be very similar. But I went and got a McDonald's order um, and tested it just to see it with my own eyes. I got a McDonald's. I forget what it was. It was like a 10-piece nuggets combo, large drink, two cheeseburgers on the side. Oh, no, I'm not saying COVID's gone. It's just like we understand more about it now, right? Early, early days, COVID, like April 2020. Good lot. Good God. The world's over. I genuinely remember I was sitting around in my room like, am I living through my, my generation's like apocalypse? Like, is this... Like, where is this going to go? You know what I mean? It was generally kind of scary there for a little bit. It's like a it's like a bad cold now, I think. Mean, if you're vaccinated and you've done everything you need to do. I got it last year and it was not fucking pleasant. Not the nuggies. Now nah, the, the I get the nugget meal and then the, the dollar burgers are cheaper. I've min-maxed this, I think. Um And then I went to the actual McDonald's and like not even including delivery fee and everything. All the items are just slightly cheaper. Oh, I know. I, one of my friends, uh, Cheen, has, like, heart problems now. Like, he got COVID. And I think he was... I don't remember if he was vaccinated or not at the time because it was pretty early. And he's got, like, permanent heart issues now. Yeah, I'm lucky. I think I've only got it once for everything that I've been up to and doing. And Like, I wanted to go um, to San Diego for a weekend and then immediately fly east and go see uh, my girlfriend in Charlotte. I do not. I'm going to be at a convention with a ton of people. Oh, they all pitted on lap 10. That's funny. Um, so I don't want to put her at risk, right? And we had to talk about it before. She's like, I'm not going to do anything before you come down. You're not going to do anything before you come down. Oh, my God. All the Because they're all going to get lapped. All the races are going to end in the pit lane. Oh, no. I just missed out on lapping them. That would have been really funny. If their pit boxes were behind the start finish, that would have been genuinely hilarious. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Joe. Like, where I could justify spending, like, 60 bucks a week on takeout, realizing it's expensive, but, like, okay, that's fine. I'm lazy. I Especially now, where, uh, like, what I used to do when I was streaming is go upstairs, look at my fridge, go, I could make stir-fry, but I'm missing beef or vegetables or one ingredient, because I always have rice in the house, always. I buy, like, the fucking 20-pound burlap bags of rice. Um, I used to just be able to run to the grocery store and grab whatever ingredient I was missing 
can't do that anymore. So if I'm like, even something simple, like I'm going to go make boxed mac and cheese. If I don't have milk or margarine or whatever, I can't do that. Uh, so before I would just go to the grocery store and pick up whatever I was missing, you know, because I live right down the street from the college and the, co the grocery store around the street from the college is to, was, used to be 24 hours. So it was weird, you know, but doable. Now, if I'm missing one ingredient for dinner, I'm fucked. Either I don't have that, you know what I mean? Or I got to come up with another plan. So I've, I feel like I've, I've, I've started ordering food a lot more. The smart, intelligent adult thing to, would be to plan your meals out for the week, even if you're not meal prepping. Like, like, that's what I started doing when I was ordering groceries on my phone. Again, hilariously expensive. Don't do that. But Uber always sends me, like, a, if I spend $100 or more, they'll give me 50% off. And I, I've done the math. I think it checks out. Um, so uh, I'll be like, Monday I'm having sausages uh, sausages and like a uh, like little pasta fucking pre-made thing. Um, Tuesday I'll have stir fry. Wednesday I'll have the leftovers. Thursday, you know. Um, I don't do that when I go to a grocery store. I just grab shit and go, yeah, that looks like enough, and then leave. Is nine kilos. It's about two pounds per kilo. I forget how what the actual conversion is. A pound is two point two kilos, I think. No, other way around. A kilo is two point two pounds. I don't know. Don't trust me. I am cute and stupid. All right, I took 50 horsepower out and put on harder tires. We still have a significant horsepower advantage, as it turns out. What's up, Wesley? Woodman's. We already had, like, issues with 24-hour places, Joe. And it makes sense, right? Like, think about how many people fucking live here. Even in the big cities. Right? Like, not everything needs to be open 24 hours. Like, Walmart is not necessary. I'm not going to buy a table at 4.30 in the morning, you know? But, like, t one grocery store on each end of town being 24 hours would be nice. Yeah, but, like, our Walmarts were never open 24 hours. Like, pre-COVID, post-COVID, it was never a thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it makes a bit more sense here. Also, your Walmart's groceries, like the nice ones, are a lot bigger. They're huge. Yeah, Nick, I'm not saying, like, like it'd be really nice, because there's been times, like, where I break something in VR, and I'm like, man, I wish I could order, go and, like, to Walmart and pick that up right now. Or, like, I need an Ethernet cable or something stupid. I'm not saying, like... They should, like, Walmart should not be open 24-7. I'm saying I understand why they're not. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? One good part about North Carolina is uh, cookout, though. Half the reason I'm going to see my girlfriend is just to go get cookout. And she's going to come along with the ride. Or not. For somebody who can't have milk, I sure do love a cookout milkshake. Hoo wee. When are you going? Uh, I'm not sure because I gave her a set of dates and she said I'll get back to you. But I think in like three weeks. I will be absolutely 100% only there to see my girlfriend, though. Yeah, I'm going in April. I'm, I might not, it might not happen, but that's the current plan. You know what's bullshit? Tell me, James Roll. If I was gone for like a month, like, I'd make plans with friends, but me and, me and, me and my girlfriend only see each other once a year, so... 
If there's like a day where she's working or doing shit, then maybe, but why well, say that? Part of the reason why like I got distracted by my telephone is she's gonna start doing DoorDash apparently. That's huge for her. I'm proud of her. Chat, I love my wife. I know she wants to start streaming more, and I don't know, I'm stuck for her. It's she's needed a bright horizon for a long time, and I think she's finally, like, seeing one. I sound like a boomer, but when I was, like, that age, too, it was like I couldn't fucking see more than six months into the future. And it made feel like everything feel really bleak. This car is no longer that like it's not that upgraded. We're still spanking it, by the way. I just need to point that out really quick. But she's got like actual plans and like goals and like I don't know. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> she's come a long way in a year. That one has. Should go follow her on on the on the on the purple app, by the way. If you like what I do, you'll like what she does. Twitch.tv slash AMR underscore Chrissy. She streams more drifting than I do. And she's pretty understatement of the fucking year. She sent me very, I'm not being funny. She sent me very, very PG pictures the other day. And I just stopped what I was doing and I was like, ah, oh. you fucking take that back. Yeah, since January of uh, last year. I didn't want to tell people at first because I thought chat would be like weird. And like weird about it and I didn't want to like have anything happen and be like an online where like like I don't know I've seen uh, like shit happen where like people break up and then it's weird and they're both on like content creators and it's weird um, I didn't want to put her in that space and like put pressure on her like that or myself to be fair um, also, I thought it'd just be dope to have, like, something be part of my personal life and not have to be... online with everything. I'm like, I don't know, what if this was just our thing? And it wasn't their thing, it was just us. And then I realized, like, the amount of we would tiptoe around it was just worse. She played a Seto yesterday, apparently, and people yelled at her, and I can't say I'm surprised. I do love the sport of drifting, but the people who like it kind of suck a lot. For the most part. Cancer spread. I'm not surprised. Well, yelled at her. I honestly was gonna go back and see the name, but if she didn't want to tell me, then I won't spread it. I'm assuming it's somebody we don't know, but apparently there's a couple people who jumped because she just got her clutch pedal working again in her sim. So she jumped in uh, a seto yesterday and was just screwing around doing drifting, and. Um, she told me about two people who came into her chat yesterday and were saying, like, maybe you should just start an OnlyFans, which is just fucking rude. And, like, said she was gross and shit, I think. Like, just fucking assholes being mean to... I, I'll never understand, right? 
especially in like our little weird little hobby, that it's just like a boys club. And then instead of when we see girls get into it, we're not like, hey, this is awesome. Like, welcome to the community, whatever. We're like, uh, girls, like, stupid women. Bleh. Like, are you, dude, just say you're gay, man. That's fine. Just, just say that you hate women, you love cock. All right? Like, like just be honest with yourself. The Aseto community, the Drift community specifically, Pop, is so rough sometimes. Like every, like, air quotes banter, but like it's just bullying. And like, I mean, we saw it with, uh, with the FD mod last year. Where a lot of uh, a lot of people in drifting are not as uh, welcoming and counterculture as they claim to be. Yeah, pop. I don't know, man. There's a. Uh, I don't want to say there's a specific reason I stopped doing as much as Seto, but that's part of it. Like, we had our little groups of friends that were cool, but, like... And there was the, the normal, like... People going around and just, like, being annoying. Like, what wheel do you have every three seconds? Let me join the lobby every three seconds. Which is, like, Horizon Kids, right? That's annoying, but that's copable. Yeah, man, like, I, I'd have to stop what I was doing every ten seconds to, like... I remember once I was doing open days, like an open open lobby, whatever, and I had to add in four different packs. I didn't have to, but I was trying to please everybody, right? So I added in four different packs so everybody could have a car that they liked. So then none of the downloads worked, and everyone... Ugh, it's fucking annoying. Um... Don't know how to react. I don't know. It, it's hard for me to put my head into the into the into the like. I think I'm pretty good for the most part of like putting myself in somebody else's shoes, even if I vehemently disagree with them. Um, but it's hard for me to put myself in that scenario because I don't know. Humans are humans, and the minute you're like, I don't want you in this community because you're a woman or you're you're gay or you're 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 trans or you're a different color or whatever like you've lost me like i can't for every for every human being out there right now to, and i know the main argument is like oh girls just get into into a seto and like pretend to be good at it and just flash their boobs off and aren't actually good at the game have you watched have you watched open the oh don't don't leave my stream please uh, please stay here but if you go into any given Assetto night, like like click Assetto Corsa and look at the drifting streams, the amount of 30-something no-life-having losers that usernames are like Weed God 420 and they have weed leafs all over the fucking screen, they're high off their fucking brain, driving like the easiest pack in the game and are constantly crashing into shit. You're the one that thinks that you can gatekeep people in this fucking community? No. No, sir. Absolutely not. I won't have this. No. Like, if, if your main complaint is, we know what wham and wham and bad at game, get the other 80% of poo poo garbage drivers out of here first. That's not your argument, man. Stop lying. Like, walk us through your emote. Not a Aerotech one, no. That's an idea. I forgot that I have a bunch of emote slots now. I keep forgetting. You know, Pop, I'm not talking about anybody specifically, but I'm sure that you had names come up to your head when I said that. I know, I know I'm thinking of about five different people that fit that description right now.
Yeah, it's it's funny, right? And it, like the other way around is also really click creepy, but like seeing a uh, a female get into or a femme person, let's say, I think that's a bit more appropriate. Not that I have to say it like that. I want to. Seeing somebody who's femme get into a male-dominated hobby, like sim racing or whatever, and just being subtly really horny about it is just as bad. <laughs> like, I think it... I, I've talked to uh, a couple fem people about this, and it's almost like better if you're just toxic than like, oh, you're new here? Let me try and mansplain to you everything you know, like everything to do, even though you already know what to do. And like, you should play with me. You'll get better. By the way, are you single? You're really pretty. It's so fucking weird, man. why like maybe maybe in 2024 the argument's a bit warped because there genuinely is people on twitch with their whole asshole hanging out now which is hilarious to say but a couple of years ago there was like just women wearing low-cut shirts and like maybe there was a bit of boo but it's nothing you wouldn't wear outside in public and uh people would argue oh i can't get big on twitch because there's girls with their tits out who are huge and they're stealing all of our viewers i'm like have you considered maybe you're just boring Now, 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 I still don't blame people because like it, that content is garbage and it should just get no viewers. So blame all the weird horny dudes, not the people taking advantage of it. But my main thing is like, yeah, okay. Like, let's just humor that argument, right? Like, I still think it's bullshit, but let's just humor that argument, right? Of like, okay, maybe being femme presenting does make it a bit easier to get viewers because you get creeps. Why is that a good thing? Why is that a good why is that a good thing at all? Why why would you want that? Like, hey man, I only have like one person watched me play Fortnite for eight hours a day. I sure do wish there were 50 fucking peep creepy Boobies. people in here. I agree, Joe, first of all. Like, the amount of stories I've heard from female and femme presenting streamers in my friend group in of, of all different, like, successful success rates and sizes of, like, dudes just randomly DMing them their penis. Uh, spending like weeks and months hitting on them and when they're like hey I'm not interested they like threaten to dox them and shit like it's gross Honestly, Supra, if you have the peace of mind of even thinking that thought, I think you're good, dude. Don't overthink it. I know that's, like, easier said than done, but don't overthink it. If you can recognize that behavior and go, yeah, that's wrong, do I do that? The 90% of people who, who do it either do it on purpose or don't think it's a problem. Are you Amaranth? Dude. Hot take? I don't think she does anything wrong. I mean, I mean, okay. She does not do anything wrong with the rules that are presented to her. Right? Like, yes. I, I'm going to use that example because it's absurd. Uh, somebody was wearing green panties the other day and was green screening their ass out of the out of the shot so that that's where the gameplay was. I saw another thing on uh, Moist Critical's channel where somebody had a camera pointed at their boobs and a camera pointed at their literal butthole. Like, you could see the stretches of her butthole, right? If Twitch is letting it happen, it's not her fault. If she's just taking advantage of a bunch of, like, weirdo creeps, fucking go for it. Because if not her, they're going to go somewhere else and do it to someone else who's just trying to play Stardew and have a good time. And, and even then, like, 
like I said, let's entertain the argument that yes, money and whatever is easier when boob out. Which I still don't 100% believe, but like, it also comes with so much other baggage. I have had all of three interactions in my entire online career as a content creator that I would, maybe four, that I would include as like getting creepily hit on or like, you know, like feeling uncomfortable. There was one person in the community that it wasn't even me that was just hitting on aggressively anybody remotely close to female. I remember he hit on Storm because Storm had pink hair and did not know Storm was a dude. Just assumed that Storm was female because they said they had pink hair. Uh, I, I absolutely had at least like one or two random wiener pictures sent to me. Again, in 13 years, I think two is, that's a good ratio. And then I had, uh, a couple instances of like the young, remember that one kid when we played Fallout that used to say, hey baby and hey sexy to me all the time. And I was like, hey man, you're a child. Can you not do that? And then he lost it. That's it. I think that's it. These people are getting like five times that every day. Every fucking day. I'd quit. I'd quit. I'd go flip burgers, dude. Fuck that shit. Oh my god, no. And then you just gaslight yourself. Like, are these people, are they being nice to me? Or are they just being nice to me because I'm like half naked? Like, there is a lot of fucking baggage that comes with being an air quotes titty streamer, man. And again, I don't blame the people at all. I blame the people watching. If all somebody is doing is sitting in front of a camera half naked, that should not get any views at all on a website that isn't called Chatterbait. Don't don't hate the player, hate the game. Also, Twitch should do something about it. If Twitch ain't doing anything about it, what do you want them to do? GTT and I took power out and I put on a harder tire. I think we're just going to have a walk away win on this one. I am not going to get into kick because I say the same thing every time. But like, I know friends that went switched over to kick just to try it out when when Twitch was really going bonkers there a couple months ago. And uh, I'll, 90 percent of them came back. Uh, and the ones who didn't. I had suspicions about to begin with. And even if they are like outstanding human beings, I don't know how you could be on that website unironically and not realize the company that you keep. Like, like the dude who owns the website is just being fucking unhinged and stupid every day. Yeah, I mean, but my, my, my point on that, Weasel, is it's, it's an over... Like, it's an issue with the TOS, not specific people. Like, if there had already been rules established, like, hey, you can't... aim a fucking webcam at your actual pooper. And have clothes so skimpy on that your butthole sticks out. Like, you can't do that. I get that you marked your stream as 18+, plus, but, like... This is for video games, you know what I mean? Like... Until until they do something about it on TOS, I I have a hard time blaming or getting mad at one specific person. Yeah, once you're done wheel spinning GTT, you could go back into whatever gear. The game is smart, but it's not that smart. Yeah, that's what I mean, right? Like, I'm, I'd never, like, be upset at a streamer or a group of streamers or whatever. It's more like, hey, it'd be cool if it was, was enforced on the TOS. Like, to a degree, right? Like, I don't think somebody wearing a, uh, if in the summer, wearing a low-cut top that might 
have their webcam a bit bigger than most people should be banned. That's stupid. If you sexualize that, that's on you. You know what I mean? Even like a hot tub stream, to a degree, I think is fine. If you're just chilling in the hot tub with your friends, you know? But it's like I have a blow up pool in my living room and every five subs I rub oil on myself. All right, <laughs> it's like, all right. I'm at the beach. Ends a lunatic. Nah, dude. Like, literally, uh, most of the streamers on that website are banned on this one. And that's why they're over there. Like I said, I know people who have no issues on Twitch at all, and they don't do anything risque with their content. It's not like they're saying slurs every five minutes. Who saw the 90% split for sub revenue and went, I gotta try this. And most of them, if not all of them, came back. The ones who didn't... There you go. If I speak, I'm in trouble. And again, even if they are just like, I'm just getting the bag or whatever... It's the company you keep, especially if you're, like, giga proud to be on that website. You might not be open with opinions of yours, but I, I, I don't trust that you're a good human being. I'm, I'm reading this. Are free to make money as they like. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like there's, a, there's a line now. Like... Like, I remember wait, Raven, like I said, like I said, like five, six years ago, pre-COVID, let's say, where somebody would be playing Stardew or whatever. It doesn't, the game's not, not important. And she's just wearing, like, a low-cut, sh like, shirt. Like, a regular shirt you'd wear on the bus or to the grocery store. It's just showing a little bit of cleave, right? And people are like, no, nah, these people got to be banned. This is sick. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not fair. This, that, whatever, like... Go outside, man. Like, it's hot in the in the summer. Like, go outside. You're a creep. But what's happening now is like a whole other level. Like I said, I've seen a lady's in actual butthole, and nothing was done. Like I've seen her pooper, like where she shits. Computer question eight. Computer Anthony. With an adapter. Why not? You lose like your USB C capabilities, but yeah. Ow. On a park or a beach. They don't go outside, Aaron, that's the thing. That's what I mean. Like, if you're in a hot tub wearing a bikini, like, whatever. Like, get over it. But I have seen with my own two eyes a lady playing Valorant on her... On, I, I wasn't even sure what game it was because the screen was in the corner about yay small. And the webcam, the biggest webcam on screen, was pointed right up her butthole. I could see the little stretchies on the side of her butthole. Might be, might be time to do something about it. Clipper didn't happen. Uh, YouTube.com slash Penguin Zero. It's censored, but it's there. You can find whatever you want from there. Yeah, I wouldn't use USB-C ports with adapters unless you have to. But it works. That temp ban. I don't think she got banned at all. And I, I have a hard time being mad at them. That's my point, Lance. Is like, if you're not going to get banned for it, do it. 
I, you'd like to think, right, that parents would keep their kids off this kind of shit, and us adults would be like, well, this isn't good content at all. It's just somebody sitting here half naked. If I want to look at somebody half naked, I would just Google asshole and see an actual asshole. Or, like, watch porn for free. But no. And I don't know if you've ever, like, been morbidly curious and popped into one of these kinds of streams and looked at their chats. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely the worst human beings on the planet. Yeah, something will happen eventually, uh, Wax. It's either, Emerald, it's either people, like, being toxic. Like, to like, like, make the game bigger, but, like, yeah, yeah, Joe. Imagine having to deal with that eight hours a day, every day. Obviously, like, you've made your bed, but at the same time, like... Lads, lads and lasses, I'm let me tell you. I'd rather have a much smaller channel and not literally get fucking harassed for eight hours a day on a daily basis. I'm good, man. I'm good. I, I won't say her name, but I'm sure a lot of you guys can figure this out, because she is a friend of mine. I, I remember when her channel... She's got a pretty sized channel now. A pretty big sized channel now. She doesn't do anything. She just does, like, speedrunning and shit. But when she was getting started, there was a regular that was there all the time. Every second word. I love your hair. You're so pretty. I bet you smell nice. I mean, maybe, I may have made the last one up. But, like, every second word was like, you're so pretty. I love... You look so pretty today. I love your laugh. It's so cute. Which is, like, flattering at first. A little weird, but flattering. And then it just... It was not once or twice. Right? And I DM'd her about it. I was like, are you good? She's like, yeah, I'm just gonna deal with it. I don't want to crawl out of my own fucking skin. I wasn't even me. I was just reading it, and I'm like, it's not your channel, don't get involved. It's not your channel, don't get involved. And I felt my skin crawl. Yeah, imagine your chat flying like this of people just telling you that you look fat or, or and, and telling you to die or like overly sexualizing you to the point of where you look like you feel like an object. I'm I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm fucking good. Stiff. Thanks for the raid. What were we up to this evening? Yeah, and that's not to say, like, I don't, that's not to say that men don't get it too, right? Or male presenting people. I get people in here telling me I look like a pedophile all the time. You know, I look like whatever, but like, it's so fucking rare, dude. It's so rare. And nine times out of ten, it's like Kappa. You know what I mean? Like somebody just being a shitter. It's not somebody, like, genuinely coming in saying you should genuinely unalive yourself. Like, it's either somebody just shit posting, and you ban them and they go away and they're gone. Or it's so rare and, and, and just does not happen. Like, I literally have my front tooth missing, man. Like, I am an easy target. And it happens... It, nobody said anything about my tooth yet. I think it once when it like when I got it pulled. They're like, is your tooth missing? I'm like, yeah. Something happened to it and I had to get it removed. Some chrono cross. That's the second one, right? I don't know. Sorry for like the whole tangent if that made anybody uncomfortable, but 
That, that really makes me mad. <laughs> Uh, Supra would help me a lot with, like, very minor things is that most people on the internet are, like, chronically online. Are chronically online for a reason. And I am, the pot is calling the kettle black. You know? A lot of us out there have no social skills, but at least we have good intentions. I want to. I want to say ninety percent of the archetype of the people I'm talking about are like, I don't know why girls don't like me. I'm a nice guy. Nah, dude, you're nice until they're like, you know what? I don't feel like having sex with you, and then you're a piece of shit. I used to play hockey as a kid. I watched the playoffs. I uh, my my bit now GTT is that anytime anybody asks, I give them a different story. The truth is I, I, something happened with my gum where my gum receded and then the, the tooth died. And because the tooth was dead, I was eating <laughs> mini wheats and the back of the tooth chipped and the chip just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the tooth was like hanging out by, like, it didn't hurt. It was just hanging on by like a thread. And every time I like closed my, uh, my teeth, it would push up into my gum and it would hurt. But like just hanging there, it wouldn't hurt. So I had to like chew my food like a cow. It was bad. I thought it was because I didn't brush my teeth often enough. And I, was, I asked my dentist. I'm like, because if you tell me no, and that wasn't my fault, it's going to enable me. He's like, nah, it wasn't your fault. You're good. But yeah, I just, I just change my story every time now because it's funny. It is what it is. I'll get, a, I'll get a replacement eventually. They're just expensive. It's like eight, like six grand. I thought about spending the streamathon money on that, and I was like, why? Yeah, I don't know. I wanted to kind of drop it, Cape. That was my own fault, to be fair, but like, I think that everybody here is probably in agreement on that. And like, getting rid of incel behavior is, is a whole other topic. Um, I don't know. I just, again, I just have, like, women that I love and care about in this space, whether it's streaming, VTubing, uh, any kind of content that deserve to exist in uh, motorsports, you know? And then when they get told they can't, or like, oh, it's just easy for you because you have boobs, like... It makes me very mad. It makes me really angry. It's like, yeah, dude, maybe. Maybe you're right. I really need you to think about how you would feel if you got harassed all day, every day for months. How that would treat your brain. Steve, I've run into, like, two people in real life. Not in real life, but I've run into two people that I've had this issue with. Like, that weren't nameless and faceless dorks online. Like, I remember once uh, my friend VK had a guy that, like, asked her to get him on a stream team. And she's like, I don't know the person who runs it very well. You're going to have to do it yourself. And he took that as, like, a personal offense and started lying, tr trying to spread a bunch of lies about her and, like, made up this whole story about how his kid saw the word panty in a stream and like it was a uh, fucking hilarious yeah it was like the biggest piece of this dude's a piece of human garbage i don't remember his name i don't want to remember his name but i remember he like somebody somebody called themselves like the panty prince and he said that his daughter had read that name and went what is that about? Does your friend associate with this person? The daughter was like eight years old. First of all, 1-800, that didn't happen. Uh, that You made that up. And then when he got called out on that, I'm not going to repeat what he said because it's genuinely gross. 
Uh, but let's just say he's like, I feel strongly about this because my wife went through something, which is just not true. He made that up. And if he didn't, you're just more fucked up for, like, using that to win an internet argument. Like, you lose-lose either way, boss. Uh, but this was the same dude that said he was, like, best friends with people from Avenged Sevenfold. And when we fact-checked him about it, he's like, oh, um, uh, no, it's actually just somebody who plays on his account while he's on tour. Yeah, like, the main criticism, Raven, was why did you let your daughter sit on the on Twitch unattended? And he's like, well, I didn't. She was in my lap. I was like, all right, cool. So this was happening in front of you, and you did nothing. You telling me how to raise my kid? Actually, yeah, I am. Uh, actually. <laughs> no, the dude just was mad that he didn't got get invited to the stream team. And instead of taking it like an adult and be like, damn, okay, he uh, threw a temper tantrum about it. No, I, again, I really wish I could tell you, like, all the things that happened with this, but I forget most of it. But this dude literally just, like, I was watching his stream, and he was just losing his mind. Oh, hello. But this was the same, we went to, I used to go to like a streamer meetup once a month. He like bragged about how big his channel was and how many followers he had and how many viewers he had. And then I went and fact checked him on it. Like I went to check his channel and he had the followers. But he's like, yeah, you know, my streams are popping, man. Like they're so busy. And I went and watched him. He had two people watching him. One of them was his wife. The guy just lied. He just wanted people to think he was cool. And again, he's like, yeah, I play with, uh, I think it was M Shadows from Avenged Sevenfold. I play COD with him all the time. And um, we asked him about it. I was like, well, are, could we play with you with him? He's like, well, uh, actually, uh, most of the time it's just uh, his friend that plays on his account while he's on tour, which is, I have a girlfriend, but she's from another school. You don't know her. Like, you're just an idiot, dude. Yeah, and, like, my friend was, like, genuinely afraid for her life because the dude was threatening her and shit. Like, I don't know. People are fucked up. TLDR. But I guarantee you something. That would not have happened if she had chest hair. He would have just left her alone. Yeah, and I wish I could remember, like, 5% of this whole thing. It was genuinely, like, it was very funny at the time, but in retrospect, so disgusting. No, nah, it was just for clout, dude. It was literally just for clout. It was, a, it was like, a stream team at the time that basically accepted, like, a ton of people. So he thought he could join this stream team and it would, like, catapult him into popularity. I don't know, Keith. I feel the same way, but just be different. Just don't do that. It's not difficult. Again, if you if you have the brain to be like, well, that's gross, and like you can think about it, you're already like sixty percent away of the way ahead. Um. And then the other time was a lot less exciting. It was... Literally some dude who played a war zone that was mad that he streamed eight hours a day and only got two viewers when insert girl with big tits here gets thousands of viewers and all she does is sit on camera and talk to her chat and do nothing. So for fun, I went and checked this guy out. And yeah, I watched him for 30 minutes. I think I heard one sentence. 
why the fuck it is in a game that is got so many different people playing it on Twitch. Body. You gotta do a bit better than that. Like, there'd be people that would come in the chat and say, hey man, what's going on? And he wouldn't look at chat for 20 or 30 minutes. Not 20 or 30 minutes, but like 5, 10 minutes. And by the time he goes, hey man, what's up? Like, they're gone. It's like, man... <laughs> It's not because you're a dude, it's because you suck. Like, I'm sorry. You know how hard it is to suck at streaming? Solstice wasn't cool, but now that it's old, it's cool. It's got that old buff. Dude, it's, it's genuinely difficult to be bad at this, I think. There's a difference between being, like, good and, like, really good, you know? Because you get comfortable in front of a microphone, you get comfortable in front of a camera, you realize what works for you and what doesn't work for you, whatever. Like, to be straight up ass at streaming, I think is a talent. You're telling me, in a form of content that involves you just playing a video game and talking, you can't do that. No, Aaron, because uh, most of those people understand and they get it. I have friends that literally just stream their WoW raids and they don't say a word and that's fine. They're not trying to be the next fucking ninja. They just play their silly little games and they do their own silly little thing and they don't really care if it pops off or not. This dude's like, I've been grinding for six months. Yeah? <laughs> There's people out there that have been doing this shit for 10 years, dude, and are still trying to make it. Come on, brother. Throw me a fucking bone. Cracked in this dick. Pop, it's like people do Discord streams, but on Twitch. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You know what I mean? Like, like if you're in a Discord server with some friends, and you're like, I don't know, I'm bored and I'm playing a video game. So you just jump in a random voice channel and start streaming it. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to do that on this website as well, nothing wrong with that. After six months, you're like, why am I not famous? Something wrong with that. Down shift tomorrow. Dude, if I don't see you, enjoy your new wheel, man. Have a good one, Steve. Thank you for the raid as well. Like, I don't want to discourage anybody from streaming, if, especially if it's just like, I don't know, I just want to do silly little things on the internet. Bro, that's like the worst thing you could do. There's, there's some people who like, it's not everybody. But I don't know, like, like I said, I started this in 2010 or so. Uh, and just did it as a hobby because I thought making YouTube videos was fun and then I saw it going somewhere. So yeah, I started to look at like partnerships and, and taxes and, and, and businessy stuff, right? There are people that like open their Twitch channel and that day they're like, I need sponsors, I need to do this, I need to... And they're like, just emulating the personality of somebody they watch. And it's painfully obvious. It's it's painfully disingenuous. It's hard to watch.
It's like you, you, I don't, know, I, I don't want to discourage people from doing something they love or they want to try doing. And I don't know if you're out there and you're like, I'd love to try streaming. I think it'd be a fun job or whatever, or a fun like side hustle. Like, I think you should just do it. It's easier now to do it than it ever was before. You don't even need a capture card. Anymore. Most, most, most gaming headsets have half, half decent mics on them now. They're not great. But like day one, stream one, you're like, we're doing a giveaway today. Make sure you smash that like button. You're corporate and you haven't even gotten that far yet. Like, yee. Like the day will come where I say this stream is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. More than likely. I'm not necessarily stoked about that, you know? Like, I know people out there that have just started, and they've got, like, three sponsors, but they're not actually sponsored, you know what I mean? It's like a, like a, uh, like a commission type thing where they give you, like, a link, and that, that link saves the, whoever clicks it, like, 5%, and then you get that 5% kickback. That's not a sponsorship. I forget the word that it, it's, it's supposed to be. It's like a partnership or a, I, I fucking forget. I don't know. It, it, it's a, it's a big, like, not big, but like, it's a big red flag for me when you, you've just started streaming, which is like the best time, right? You just do whatever you want. You could do random games. You can stream for 30 minutes. You can stream for 30 hours. You can literally get away with whatever you want. And, like, you, that's a perfect time to experiment, you know, slowly upgrade your equipment, uh, learn how OBS works. And you're like, no, nah, bump that. I want to make millions in day, day two. It's like, why do you want to be corporate... I don't know. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. But nine times out of ten, it's like very easy to see from a viewer's perspective. And it makes me not want to watch you. I have friends that act like that, dude. I'm like, I can't I would not be able to watch their channel because I'm like, you just you just do not sound like you at all. It it it, it sounds like as soon as you click the live button, you're like What's up, guys? And you're just pretending to be Mr. Beast for four hours. You know, maybe you can get away with that in a YouTube video, but on on, on Twitch, it's hard because, like, you're here for so many hours at a time. If you're not being real, it's very easy to see. Unless you're just a psychopath, then congratulations. Mr. Bundy, welcome to your G Fuel sponsorship, I guess. If that's who they are, that's fine. There's some people who don't watch me because I yell and I'm too animated. That's cool. That's fine. Whatever you're into, dude. But like this, like anybody who's ever met me in real life, I'm not any different. I don't know. I'm a little old school in the way that I don't think you should be getting into any kind of content creation with the goal of it being a job because that you're like well i want to suck the all the fun out of this don't get me wrong i have fun with this too, too but like if my sub count tanks ne next month i'm fucked you know what i mean <laughs> i don't i don't get to oh well that sucks whatever you know what i mean or like oh that stream did really didn't do very well that's okay i'll just learn no i <laughs> don't get that luxury hello blair welcome back i'm french Thank you, Tank Catapult. I did, I did, yeah. They all, like, tires died at the end. Got very lucky. 
Some people get bigger. For, I, I, I can see that. Cleo V6. Nope. No, no. The only, I, I think we did get Renos and stuff for a period, but like it was before I was alive. I don't know. Like I, I, I don't really watch a lot of big streamers. Like I have uh, a little, like Jimmy, I guess. Broadbent's one. Uh, Rudy's kind of getting there. Um, I would consider big like over 200 concurrent viewers on average. But like, I feel like the best part of a stream, whether you want to or not, is the ability to interact with either the streamer the community or both so like even if i'm doing something in iRacing like doing an off-road race or something like where i'm focusing and i'm not talking to chat chat can still talk to itself right like you guys can have a conversation whether it's about what's going on about something completely different score what's up dude long time to see how are you thank you for the resub but like in a fast chat with a ton of viewers, um, it's hard to chat with other people because the chat's going so quick, and mostly the chat is just like shit posting, right? Which is fine, but like it's the chat is just like pog champs and poggers and lulls and like emotes. There's uh, people with like high view count numbers where the chat is just slower. A lot of iRacing people are like that. So you can still have a conversation in the chat with other chatters without the streamer be like paying attention to every minute of the chat. That's okay too. I can't... If you're not going to look at the chat or pay attention to the chat because you're busy or the chat's too fast or whatever, and the chat's just going like neener, 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 and you can't have a conversation, is this not just a YouTube video? Is this a YouTube video with extra steps? So much sleep in this game. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. What's up, Omache? Been okay. Recovering from a knee injury. Had a motorbike accident. Our prisoner today. Everything's good, though. Like, it's nothing permanent. Yeah, like, the number will never put me off. Like, I'm not going to look at a, a number of people in a chat and go, ugh. But, like, it's the vibe. You know what I mean? Like, if I can't talk to anybody or, like, the chat is just so fast. It's like, eh, it's not for me. It's not my place. I keep looking at best like it's the last lap time. Like, wow, I just purpled. Also, again, I I'm on I de-upgraded the car and we're destroying. I'll take more power out, I guess. Oh god, I looked at chat. I'll crop it out speed where you can see it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, today, if you had a motorcycle accident, you'd be down here hanging out. It couldn't have been that bad. But That's what I'm, saying, right? I'm not gonna lie to you, Aaron. I love when like me and like a couple other people in chat are having one conversation and I look and there's a group of people talking about something completely different. I love that. But it's not when, like, again, not when chat's flying a mile a minute, but that makes me happy. We're fucking late. Yeah, I just saw it was one. I was going to do like the win tonight, but maybe another day. Good night, Supra. Like right now. We're talking about what we're talking about. Scorp's talking about his knee. Tank's doing that thing that he does. Compliment non-derogatory. I think I hope.
Well, I gotta channel it. I don't know what happened, but it's like everybody's so scared to get the exclamation mark typo command used against them that more typos have started happening. Very funny. <laughs> I get a giggle when somebody censors themselves in the chat, like they put an asterisk over a swear word or something. Like when I'm sitting here going fuck shit, ass fuck fuck every 10 seconds. The only things that I have censored here are slurs for obvious reasons. And um... Uh I think the word autism might be banned or autistic, one of the two, because somebody was just using it as a synonym for stupid. I was like, how about you don't do that? Yeah, it's stupid. No, I, one of them is, I think. I got I got tired of like trying to explain to people, hey, like that's not if you're unless you have that, that's not a cool way to just like this is dumb. And I was like, wait a minute. I don't think I wanna try and police who's got autism and who doesn't. Oh, the R word's worse. The R word's worse. A autism is like something that um uh, a lot of people who are autistic, that's like kind of how they cope with it. But I can't ask you, like, it's not up to me to go like, are you? I don't, you know, like, I'm not the, <laughs> I'm not the police on that matter. You know what I mean? The other word, no, it's just gross. You want to call something stupid. There's like 18 other ways to do it. Um, oh, I can't take these off. Well, I've made the car about as slow as I can without making it totally useless. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I've had friends uh, and members of the community who have developmental disabilities um, reach out more than once and be like, hey, man, thank you for like standing by that. Um, and it makes me feel more comfortable in your community, and that's all I needed to hear. I would say it was a worse cave when I was doing more Forza, but like people were using it just like a synonym for dumb all the time. And it was more than one person and it was like out of control. I was like, I don't know what to do anymore. So I just like, that was my solution to it. This is not, this is a Twitch chat, not a government room. There is no such thing as free speech here. There are plenty of other channels on kick.com that will be happy to have that language. This is not one of them. Paid. <laughs> it's 15 fucking laps. Shoot me. Yeah, that's, I don't want to touch that with, a, like, a 10-foot pole. That's what I mean. Like, I don't know who's diagnosed, who's self-diagnosed, who's just going to say they have it to get out of getting in trouble. Like, it's just... I've had people with autism, like, try to say it in chat, and I had to explain it to them, and nine times out of ten, the response is, that's stupid, but okay. Like, it's, that's really dumb that you have to do that, but I understand. I've not really had a lot of pushback from... Most people. I'll take it. I'm starving.
This isn't deep. No, it's, it's Cote d'Azul or Monaco. Chat, taking power out has actually made the car better. It's got like the perfect amount of horsepower now. Good night, Barry. Happy birthday. Love you, dude. Glad you had a good weekend. Yeah, this is Clio, the Clio, whatever. I uh, I tried upgrading the car to where I think it needed to be, and then we lapped the field. And then I have been slowly taking upgrades off, and literally the only other thing I can do is completely remove the turbo, which would kill like by 100 horsepower. Which at this rate, I probably should have just did that. Yeah, and, and let me, like, let me, I want to end this line of conversation because I don't think there's much more that I can add to it or the chat could add to it. What you choose to say in your own space or with your own friends is is your choice. You know, if, if you are neurodivergent and using those words is cool with you, that's fine. Do what you want in your own time. This is my space, XD, colon three. And this is what I choose to have my space as. And again, nine, 90 per, almost, I'm going to say every person who's neurodivergent I've had this conversation with is like, yeah, I get it. How's my ass for spots? What? <laughs> I look like a fucking Dalmatian to you? What? I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it. Work with you. Fair enough. Yeah, I bought the uh, I bought the Elise 180 or 190, and got it to like a good ratio to where if the the leaders pit, I didn't I stayed out on harder tires and the race is really close. And then there's the one Rome race where they didn't pit and I got killed. So uh, I didn't want to take any chance. All right, we're back. Thank you, Tay. No more qualifying and whatnot. My gut reaction is icky, but I'm I'm not. I don't think it's like objectively stupid. Scorp. However, I've been looking for excuses to watch Drift Masters over FD, and the more people I learn, kind of suck in terms of like people behind the scenes at FD and. Uh, how they're like, hey, we like, we need to change a bunch of this shit to make the sport better. We're actually going to do the opposite. Uh, I don't know. I've been very, like, shrug on FD lately anyway. Like, last year was great, but, like, as a corporation, as an organization, I'm like, oh, man. It's been getting harder and harder to, like, support them. Especially with stuff that I know behind the scenes and, like, stuff that I've heard that's from reputable sources that I can't prove, but even if they are true, you know? And then Drift Bastards is, like, slowly getting cooler and cooler and, like, better and better. He does. He does, Tank. He does. So, I don't know. I'm going to give it a chance. I haven't watched qualifying in years. I'm going to give it a chance. And if it sucks, it sucks. But... I'm not like anti the way what they're doing. If it makes for a better Saturday or a Friday, that's awesome. You know what I mean? But I just was like, this is not what you needed to do. <laughs> Here we go. 
hours of playing a game. Man, the amount of computer shit that's probably just like an update or like wiping your PC. I have a bunch of weird stuff wrong with my PC and I feel like just reinstalling Windows would solve most of it. I just don't want to do that. It sounds like so much work. Anyone who hears it? I know a little bit of like UK slang, having grew up watching like Doctor Who and Top Gear and stuff, but not all of it. Not anywhere near all of it, especially the regional stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic with the new qualifying format. I'm going to give it a couple rounds, and if it sucks, it sucks. If it's, if it's sick, that's fine. I just don't want to be, like, immediately dismissive just because it's different. My gut feeling tells me there was nothing wrong with the original qualifying format where everybody got two runs. There's a reason that in terms of, like, Formula Drift, they're the only big drifting sanctioning body that does it differently. Because the way it seems like they're doing it, it's just going to make the rich get richer. You know, you do well one round, you never have to worry about getting bumped before 16 again. You don't do well one round, you're fucked and you're stuck in the bottom. And you know what? I don't want to watch the worst eight guys battle. I don't. I really don't. I'm not interested. I didn't want to watch the worst eight drivers get a second run of qualifying either. If you want to do, like I said, if they wanted to do like limited amounts of qualifying runs, do it like fucking Formula 1. Take the top 16 and then get them to do a second run. You know, Q1, Q2. I don't, I don't think this is what you needed to do to make qualifying better because the only reason it's worse is changes that you made. Dude, I, it's, I've, I have watched FD qualifying probably three, four years. Not only were, are the scores just like question marks most of the times, but you watch all the dudes that could run 99 point runs run 90 point runs because they don't want to risk it. And then you watch all the boners crash their car and get two double zeros every, every round. It's boring. There was nothing wrong with the way they did qualifying before. They're trying to convince you and say it's part of, it's make the show better, blah, blah, blah. No, it's to limit track time. So the faster they go, the less they have to rent the track, the less they have to pay the, the safety staff and the security staff and all that, and the faster they get out of there, and the less the event costs. It has nothing to do with people. No. Because if it did, if it really was about putting on a better show, where's the third place battles that people have been asking for for years? I don't know. I haven't really seen a lot of people say, oh my god, this new qualifying format's awesome that aren't, like, directly involved with FD. Like, just fans? I haven't really, you know... And I'm not going to get super into it, Scort, but, like, it reminds me a lot of, like, Turn 10, you know? Where they try to tell you they're doing something for your your benefit, and you're like, well, I've, we've been asking you specifically not to do that. Yeah, everyone's got its own problems. I don't, I'm not touching that one. Everyone, everyone has its own problems. Where uh, you can't race anymore because everyone just runs you off the track, and you might get a penalty or you might not. Shrug. Who knows? I don't know, dude. I just, I just like Drift Masters is only getting bigger and bigger and bigger worldwide, and they do nothing wacky. They don't do any. There's no weird rules. There's no like. You know what I mean? Like they don't do anything strange. They just run the event. And yeah, their judging isn't great sometimes, and and like they're, it's not like it's perfect. come get tires because I'm bored. But it's not like it's perfect, but like 
There's no gimmicks. There's no nothing. The only thing I can think of is, like, how quick they are in between battles. Like, they, they're, they, if your car breaks, that sucks. Bye. That's the only, like, wacky thing that I can think that they do to keep to keep the ball rolling and keep the event going. And there's a lot of people out there that will tell you, like, Drift Bastards drivers are better. I don't really think so. I think it's about the same. The people at the top are nuts. The people in the middle are pretty good. And the people at the back are terrible in, in, in comparison. Aaron... <laughs> They just go to awesome venues. The production value is good. And the driving is good. That's it. There's, you don't need anything else other than that. Like FD going, we need to change qualifying again when it still looks like their, their live stream is produced by, like, interns from 2010. Like, y'all never invested in cameras. You never invested in... You, they have a drone camera now that works most of the time. That's kind of it. Oh, and I guess, like, the Wi-Fi they use isn't awful anymore. You don't have to worry about the stream buffering constantly. I did. The drone did get hit by a piece of bumper or something last year. I remember that. But, like, to anybody who's into drifting, watch one round of FDE, watch one round of Driftmasters. I'd have a really hard time telling you that they're the same thing, just different regions. Driftmasters just seems way more polished, way more thought out and from a viewer perspective. I think it's cool that they go to so many different kinds of tracks. Yeah, they've got their own issues. Valinos to win, but I mean, every series has like negatives, right? Even D1, it's like a robot does my judging now. Granted, you know, there's more to it than that, but Car. I don't remember. I think it got hit by a piece of car. <laughs> okay, I can hear it. But yeah, that was a really long answer for a really short question, but we'll see what happens this year. I would not be surprised if this was the year that I said bye-bye to FD. so you know it's still cool I mean it's cool I just don't like it as a viewer like the cars are cool the driving's cool but I remember one year I was like I haven't watched D1 in years I'm gonna go back and watch it um, and I have a bunch of friends that are like they love D1 that's what they're into obviously Alexi works with them too Alexi's a homie like but as a, like, boomer, once they brought in the DOS system, I couldn't get into it anymore. I remember one year, I think it was Autopolis, but, like, the line is the outer rim of the corner, right? Like, it's the outer white line. That's the proper line. Um, but because it was raining, drivers figured out it was a lot less risky to just completely ignore the outer zone and run tight because you'd lose less points that way. So if somebody went wide and dropped a tire, that costs them more than if you just completely ignore the outer zone altogether. The argument can be made that like that's risk versus reward, because if somebody runs the outer line properly in the wet, they're going to gain way more points that way with the DOS system. I don't know. I feel like if judges were judging those runs, be like, you didn't even try. Zero. Maybe not a zero, but like... Pop, I think a lot of the dudes that run it feel so disconnected from the community now, too. Like, hey, we're going to do NFTs. Like, not that NFTs were ever really cool, but, like, a year after the Fed has come and gone. 
we're, we're going to take sponsorships and stuff from companies that are not liked or respected in the community, but we're going to do it anyway. I get the the gut feeling that the people involved in Driftmasters generally want what's best for drifting, not what's best for Driftmasters. I cannot in good conscience say the same thing about Formula Drift. I don't think they care about any other series but them. They don't care about the sport. They don't care about, you know, grassroots. They don't give a shit. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's the feeling, gut feeling I get. And that's not, some, not a feeling I used to have years ago. That is true. That did happen. I did work for that company. I still feel bad about it. Well, I worked for that company by technicality. Those are, that was a rough time. Okay, if I used to have friends that were like vehemently against that, right? That were really like really anti NFT. But for the first like couple of months, it was like anything on the internet ever. It was just a bunch of weird weirdos trying to do art in a really weird way. So, hey, we have this really weird idea for like this art project that this is how we're going to release it. We're going to call it a non-fungible token and whatever. And it's a way to know that your art is like one of one and whatever. Like, I didn't quite understand it the whole way, which I think there's a reason for that. I was like, oh, whatever. It's just like little art people doing their little weird art things. Go ahead, little art people. It was like crypto, right? Crypto wasn't really like a thing early on. It was like, oh, it's just weird internet people doing the thing again. And then you have people who like looked at a stock market once and go, I am a fucking genius. Get into it. And then there's buying and selling like, and that, that I don't think NFTs were ever made to be traded. I think it was basically meant to be like, hey, this is your piece of art, you own it, and it's yours. Like, yeah, you could save the JPEG, but that's not the point, right? I, d I genuinely think there was good intentions. I mean, like, from the start, from the start. And then somebody from the, like, like big business heard about it and went, this is a way to make millions, and then it got ruined. Like, in its infancy, it seemed like it was good intentions. So I remember there was an argument about it, or a discussion about it in the music community that I'm in. Well, not about music, but because they're all artists and like that, they're passionate about that community. It's like, there could be ways to do this where like, it's still art focused and like, and then it was like a month later, like I'm buying and selling pictures of an of, of a primate. I made eight dollars. Like, well, there goes that. Uh, they're not dead, but, like, the mainstream doesn't care about them anymore, so they're not worth anything anymore. There are absolutely still people making, like, NFTs and shit. Literally go on Twitter and say the word NFT and press send tweet, and you'll have, like, five accounts in your replies going, Hey, bro! Well, that, and it's a lot of people who didn't get it saw it as a get-rich-quick scheme, and it's come and gone now. Uh, crypto's not dead. Crypto's not going anywhere. It might stagnate. Like I said, I don't think it's popular in, like, the mainstream anymore. But it's not.
you still have people with tinfoil hats living in a wall somewhere buying and selling thousands of dollars of shrug emoji every day. But it's not like the crypto craze that it was like, what, a year or two ago? Where like you couldn't find a graphics card because people were buying them to mine crypto. It's not as goofy as it used to be. The new craze is, I don't want to get into it because like I'm going to, we are lap 13 of 15 and I'm getting off after this. And then after I get off, I am getting off stream. Uh, but the new thing now, the new hip fucking craze for everyone who doesn't understand tech to be attached at because they assume it's the next big thing is just AI. And I genuinely think AI will be dead within five years too, at least the way we know it. People are going to get over it, man. They get over everything. Companies are investing millions and millions of dollars into AI technology and AI shit. And if we've learned anything is that multi-million dollar companies just ruin things. Not that AI was cool to begin with in a lot of respects. Like the amount of shit that that companies are like, oh, look at this the generative or the detailed AI. And it's like, that's been the thing for years. You just called it AI now. It's called a chat bot, you dumb fuck. Like it's not, it's not that revolutionary. Yeah, do you guys remember that Flash game where you could think of like a character and that genie would guess it? That's all it is. It's not, I'm downplaying it, I'm being silly, but like, yeah, that, it's just Akinator. Not to sound depressing, but anything when, like, bald white guys in suits get a hold of it and go, <laughs> just gets... Whatever, whatever good merit that thing had, it's gone now. I didn't want to say much, Raven, because, like, I know you're an artist and I don't fully understand. But I had friends who are also artists that used to get, like, AI art in their commission info. Like, hey, this is like what I'm looking for. This is the pose I want. I know this is AI art and everything's got 12 fingers, but it's a start. No, I think that's that's unironically funny. Like, it's not. Like, it is sad, and that person needs help, but, like, come on, bro. <laughs> this is just the plot to Chobits, but worse. At least you got to fuck a robot. Brother! the same.
Personally, I love yous never mean the same if they don't accompany you with a titty pic. That's not an invitation, but if you feel so inclined. Honestly, honestly, the human race has two ways to ruin things, right? Not ruin things, but we have two, like, whenever, like, big developments like these things happen, two things. How do we make money off of it? Can we fuck it? That's it. Not can it heal the world? Can it help cure hunger? How do we profit as much off this as possible? Can I stick my dick in it? We are simple creatures. All right, what do we got here? Oh, fuck, it's all beetles. No, no, it's not all be- No! Oh, it's a cup of car. Never mind, that's not so bad. I have no you. God damn it, I think the other one's purple too. Pink him, am I fucking wrong, dude? If we start withholding coochie from rich people until they solve problems, the world would be a better place. You want to watch shit solved like that? <laughs> like... Oh, we didn't have a cup car yet. Okay, cool. I'll take it. We could probably use this for an endurance. Yeah, I thought we already had one. What's the percent? That's a great question. 63 and a half. I'm really hoping a lot of those endurance races are like big chunks. Raven, you just summarized the power of wealth in one sentence. I realize what I just said, right? Where it's like... Like, look at COVID. That vaccine got made pretty quick when we got our fucking backs to the wall, didn't we? You start denying Dr. Subcucci, all of a sudden cancer's gonna go away, I think, personally. No, sir, you do not get creme fraiche or a bajoon. All of a sudden, this thing is. Uh, we figured it out! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 